Good evening everyone, how's it going? I have already managed to fuck up and turn my uh, chins off. I don't know how to get them back on in the game. Kyo, please help. Just somewhere in the audio, but we're not here for the chins, we're uh, here for some uh, top tier gameplay. Absolutely. I just do not like silence rail. Let's get into the lobby, let's go for it. Get into your first game. Do you mind uh, sharing your screen on Discord? Yeah. Sorry about that, team. Oh, okay, two seconds. Yes. Here we go. So, just to give you an overview, who we're, we're, we're going to be watching the Granny Shifters against the Pinchman, but we've got eight teams, I believe. Um, eight teams playing in the tournament tonight. So we've got Alva Apex, who I believe are the favourites going into it. Got Dench Providers, Moon the Dawns, Johnny Shifters as we're watching, some of Chungus, Ho Ho, and We Jambo's team. Oh, the We Jambo, that's a name I know. Is it? I'm pretty sure We Jambo's played in uh, another tournament that we've we've uh, presided over. I'm sure I know that name. May well have, may well have. Chungus are the favourites. I think you might be a bit biased, Chungus Esports, potentially. <laughs> well, I mean, at least we've got some a fan base in for, for one of the teams, at least. Love that. It's first time that, personally, stream to YouTube, Stu, I don't know about you. Ah, uh, yeah, it's uh, gone a bit smoother than I was a bit. I was a bit scared at first, if I'm, if I'm honest. Big 50-50 to start, love that. So just going over the format, as we nearly have our first goal inside the first five seconds. It's a double elimination, best of three in, a, in both loser and winner brackets. So not to be disheartened for the whoever gets sent down to the loser's bracket here, you've still got more than enough chances to make a to make an inroads in this, uh, in this tournament as Grande gets us off to a fly here in the first 20 seconds. A nice, a nice break of the ball there. Good defending, and then just walks it in. 
another 50 50, let's have it. Oh, look at that! Beautiful, beautiful. No love lost. Good dribbling here for James. Oh, great save. Press uh, press 9 to go to the director of camp. Now you'll get uh, ah, players' POVs man. like this. That's what I thought auto cam was. There you go. I, I swear, swear we've ran Rocket League tournaments before. <laughs> <laughs> you think I would have learned? Oh, that's on target. Will he get there? Oh, it's not on target. I'm talking absolute nonsense. Picks up the boost, Grandy. Chasing it back now. James lined up. Good tackle. Good area to get that away there, Pizzuto. And again, wow. I've said it before, I've said it again. I've played a serious amount of Rocket League as James brings the score level now. With a serious amount of Rocket League, I feel I'm alright at it, but the skill level that you've got, and the skill ceiling rather, to go from just everyday passing plays to aerials, it's just absolutely mental. I don't More think I've true. seen a game that has as drastic of a, a skill ceiling as Rocket League. Like, you think you're good, you think you've mastered the mechanics of the game, then you get put up a rank in a competitive play, and it's just a whole nother world of hurt. And if these opening sort of 90 seconds or anything to go by, we've got some seriously talented players, and I'm looking forward to watching them tonight. Good save. I think I'm wanting to perhaps turn down the game volume ever so slightly between these, uh, between this match and the next. The drinks in the tournament. I'm actually unsure. I think there was talk of a couple people sitting around, sort of like uh, diamond and champ. Diamond and champ, yeah. It's, it's a good level. I mean, all you need to do is have a look at the sort of opening plays in this first game to see that the four players in Champions Field know their way about a car. As we get. Champ 3. Two. There you go. Champ 3 is the average rank. Unbelievable. By the way, stream, let me know if any frames are being dropped here. I'm looking at my streamlabs and it does look like it's starting every now and again, but streamlabs itself is not telling me that it's dropping frames. Um, this, your stream to Discord's quite laggy, but I'm looking, I've got the stream open on YouTube as well and it looks nice and crisp there. Okay, that's good, that's fine. That's all that matters. Yeah. Grandy with a beautiful save there from the shot from deep from James. Zufo takes it back down field with Cameron. Nice that's save there, a nice double save as Grandy comes in there. That put a wee bit of pressure on. Zufo and Grandy manage to retain the ball. Cameron just about gets it clear. Not sure across the face goal, but no one there to make the most Good of it finish. until Zufo arrives at the front post. That out to in run is Grandy. And just to knock it in to the front of the goal. 2-2. Two, two. How's it going, Mad Wands? Grandy with a brilliant kickoff. Zufo falls it up off the wall. Knocks it into a dangerous area. Cameron with a nice clear though. James combines to get it cleared before Grandy knocks it back down towards that back right corner. I hate these awkward balls here and no one's really got any boost, the ball's moving so slow, everyone's kind of tiptoeing around it just to see who can get the best sort of contact. It's, it's great pressure from Grandy and Zufo here, they're, they're boost starving Cameron and Cameron and um, James, just get it cleared now. I see saying that, but good, good enough for it. Grandy. Grandy's a really good player. Still got it. Over one, over two. Beats Cameron twice to get it down into the Autumn's team's box. James now clears. But it's yet again Zufo with that high press. Just about gets it over two. Manages to get it over one at least. I think it definitely is. In this opening game, I would definitely say Grandy and Zufo making better use of the pressure and just as I say that Cameron that is takes it over one tells me to shut my mouth I've not even started yet 
fakes, fakes one, gets it over the other. Brilliant goal to put them a goal ahead and under a minute to go in this map one. I think 50-50 again. This is on target. Good save of... Grand Aids with both combined well to relieve any pressure from their box. That's a brilliant bump from James. That was a tap in for Zuko, but James there closes the door on that and says no thank you. I might need to drop the... Um, I might need to drop the quality of my game between matches here. Wow. Big first one to the pinch win. So it ends 3-2 but they had a, a chance to increase the increase their lead there. By a nice save by Grandi though. I mean it's 3-2 pinchman, but there's still something telling me that Zufo and Grandi are the are the better players here and could definitely go on to to win this series 2-1, no problem, but stranger things have happened. We'll see what happens. So we're just sorting out some technical things here to do with the, the quality of the stream. Yeah, I'm You're getting a shout to put it all on performance. Cool, 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 cool. Top man at Ariel Sommer. Yeah, some boy. Yeah, I need to turn down the game sound, yes. It's a great reminder as well, thank you. Turn FPS to 60 mad one says. As I said, I swear we've run Rocky League tournaments before, lads, but always no. appreciate the always appreciate the help in the chat. This looks not as nice anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like the beta. But here we go. Interesting kick off from the Granny Shifters. Maybe should have downloaded this on my PS5 instead of my uh, PC. Sorry. Yeah, you get the gist. You get the gist of what's happening. Next uh, game, I'll. Can I do it here? I'm going to try and quickly sort this just so we get a better. That looks much better. Mad ones, are you? Are we in Brave Junior? What's going on? So, no, we we're not as Zufo smashes one in there. So we're not in Brave Junior. We're actually part of a another Scottish esports organisation called Skelt. But Brave Junior been around the. We've, we've been in contact with the, the Brave Junior, mostly Emma Gade and the and Skelt. Big fun to the Brave Junior. Hundred percent. Reached Massive out, asked if we'd if we'd yeah. be able to help out. It's not even a question. Jumped at the opportunity. Big goal. The goals are coming thick and fast in this. What a series. Oh, skill Chungus Esports arch rivals, mad ones. But say, I've not, I've not, I've not heard much of. Uh, of uh, Chungus Esports in, in the Skelt community. I think, I think you might need to, to come along to the tournaments one time and, and put that title up for grabs. Chungus Esports is a phenomenal name as well. I'm a big fan of that. Is. Chungus is a part of the whole do you know the way me a minute as well. Ah, it's, it's a oh, what goal it's brilliant goal from Zufo. That's what I'm saying. They're down 1-0 in the series, but I definitely think Grandi and Zufo have got the the facilities to take this one two one. Absolutely. But yeah, it's, that's a that's a prime like 2017 meme. <laughs> Excellent piece of part. JK JK. Right, mad ones. You're the one that laid down the gauntlet. <laughs> I'm just here to say it's it's warranted, and we'll accept it. But for tonight, there's no there's no scalp, there's no chungus. It's all about the brave junior and watching some good Rocket League. Absolutely. Brought to you by HyperX. 
push the winner of this. It's a nice HyperX headset. Yeah. Mega so, jealous, I wish it was half decent at Rocket League. 100%. I've had worse Friday nights than, than playing playing games with my friends and getting a headset at the end of it if I end up winning it. 100%. Do you know one thing I'm absolutely loving about this game is the amount of intentional demos. There's been a fair few. I'm a big fan of that. Let them this know is, in a game. This is my type of Rocket League. Demo anything that moves. <laughs> Emma gatekeeping is correct as per yeah, the runners up get a headset as well. Go oh, even better. Exactly. Couldn't tell you the last time I won any sort of tournament. Came second a couple of times, uh, so I think the last maybe, time I'm, maybe I'm just I'm just entering the wrong kind of tournaments. I should just go for the ones that, that uh, give give out more prizes. I was going to say I think the last thing I ever won was a golf competition when I was twelve. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're, you're still living you're still living off the coattails of that. A good decade ago. It's over and done with. Move on. Safe physical. Cameron nearly goes for the demo and Grandy there as he goes oh, for back boost, but I think, I think that's because he goes for the demo there. He prioritises the demo as you just see there on Grandy. Grandy manages to get corner boost before disappearing up the wall. I think if Cameron prioritises the rotation, he gets that save and it stays 2-2. Two -two. Emma with the clutch sponsor in the headset, it's absolutely slicer. Oh, Captain, my Captain Emma. Ooh, wow. That was nearly a lovely goal from Cameron. Played the the starter play really well there. It's coming back at them though. Oh my grandy, good save. Cameron trying to get this under control, but I think he's getting the ball caught up under his feet a wee bit. Yep, just allowed Zufo to, to get in there and try to make a touch if if anything, just try and put Cameron off. Zufo sends that one downtown. Off target though, but I think Cameron was always going to be, be in a position to clear that one pretty easily. So it's now James's turn to get a big clear up, but only as far as James manages to get it back. Oh, and I'm, I'm not sure what's happened there. It's the double commit, and neither of them have got it. So it's Grand, James. Grandy just gets a touch that takes it beyond Zuko. James gets the massive touch to send that back down. They can't clear it properly and James is there to follow up to his own pass. If that was me, I'd be saying great pass, nice shot to myself in the chat. <laughs> Couple of thank yous and a what a save. This is another tight game. Zufo sends it into orbit and then chases it. What a shot by the but another great save by Cameron. A little bit of a whiff by Zufo, will have you made to, to regret it? Grandy bails him out, no boost though. Cameron's boost starving him slightly, look at the aerial here. Oh, unlucky. It's a lovely save. Just not falling for James quickly enough though, it's giving Grandy just enough time to reset himself and challenge that one in there. Is it Zufo off the wall, but it should be an easy save for Cameron. I'll tell you what, that could have bounced anywhere. Feel for Grandy, it's a nice save from James. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, you've got to say that's two very poor goals to concede if you're a Grandy and Zufo. It's again, they're both they're both oh, challenging the one ball. These things are a, wee, a, wee, a wee bit of communication. A wee bit of communication. 50-50. Oh, they've, they've left it though. I tell you what, if Grandy gets better contact James, from that, that's, a game, that's a game of goal. I mean, it would be a game Set as well, that makes four. it 4-4. Four, four. Then again, I think they can go right up the other end of the field and score, and that's a GG, if you ask me. Grandy and Zufo have shot themselves in the foot massively here. That's three goals, very three. Very poor goals free. to give away. <laughs> very, well, they are very free as well. <laughs> Done it to themselves. Oh. Poor communication is oh. going to be said oh. for the three goal. Cameron can't rub salt into the Windsor, but maybe James can. Oh, 
Okay, just doesn't quite get the contact, and that's Pinchman that 2 0. GG. I'll happily eat my words. Well played to all four in that lobby. Granny Shifters. That's a great game. Just not enough to get it done. And they progress. They move down into the the losers bracket as we we say goodbye to them for now. Hopefully, see them again on them again on stream at some point in the the, the latter stages of the the losers bracket. But for now, I think the next game. Is uh, we're just waiting on that getting set up. I'll get you the the credentials for that as soon as I get them. Some kid that glows. Cameron, I was so nervous. Cameron, you played well, mate. Yeah. Tell you what, I'm... See, see, listen to Rocket League tunes, because it's all Monster Cat. I love it. Saying that, got the Monster Cat hoodie on right now. Especially, anyway, this, especially this song, like, this just takes me right back to the good old days, man. Is there any way I can turn off the Discord overlay in game Q? Uh, yeah, go to your Discord settings. Um, game overlay and uh, enable in-game overlay just toggle it off so uh, if you have a look at the discords too you'll see that um, there's uh, the credentials for um, the next game that we'll go into So everyone in the chat, who's who's going for? Who, who's your favourites going into this tournament? Do you mean the Discord overlay, uh, Emma? I think I think I've got it how I want it. I just don't like. I don't want to uh, like um, people are watching the game. I hate when like the notifications are popping up. Just a distraction in it. I think I've turned it off. I think I've worked it out. I think Emma might have been thinking that the the overlay that, that she'd sorted for us. Oh the, yeah, no, I, that's my bad. I've probably not really said that very well. Yeah. Have you got the credentials and you found them? Eh. Uh, I think, I think I'm putting in the right thing, but... So, no surprise that Chungus Esports is going for Chungus, but Paul <laughs> Salius as well going for Chungus. Interesting. We'll keep an eye out for that Absolutely. one. Absolutely. What a game this is, by the way. The support for this is phenomenal.
You're gonna have to try again though. Yep. There we go. Yeah, beautiful. Nice one. Go, oh, we jam one sell and I boy called Mad Ones. Big fan of that. Mad Ones is in the chat, so let's see if he can back yes, it up. Here we go. That face. So, so I'm saying mad ones, the, the matching the matching team of course gives them the, the custom colour so although they're playing in the, the blue corner they're showing up as black. Mad, mad ones with the the chungus uh, headset as well there. Big funny ears. <laughs> Big fan of it. They're a bit under the cost here though, are they not? Better from, from Jambo and Aaron. Aye. Ah, but is that pressure about to shift? Awkward ball into the corner. Jambo gets it out, well done. He chases it. I oh. thought he'd maybe taken it away from Aaron there. Aaron in a good position to try and take that off the wall and get an aerial downfield, but we Jambo knows he's up to it. Oh, I'm okay with Jambo. Say, those NRG skins are probably the coolest yeah. from the, the pro store. It's so clean. Like. So clean. A murdered out car. Ooh. Show me just so it gets like blessed there. There's a couple of, a couple of tackles in the middle of the field. Unfortunately, we Jambo Mad himself gets Jambo blessed. In. In. What a save. Hell, you see. Gets back really well there. I thought Mad Ones just wow. controlled that one in there, Mr. Just light the ball and allowed, allowed a free shot to go, but. A little bit of a whiff from Adam. No, he saved that. Mad Ones knocks it up, but he's just shy of boost. Goes to the aerial, I think he was maybe just about 10 or oh, what a finish. Brilliant. Just as I'm saying, just as I'm giving other team praise, Aaron says, absolutely shot it. Go. I sympathise with, with Mad Lance here because this is how I play. I've, I've, got, I've got the ability, all the ability in the world in my head. It's just when you go to try and <laughs> translate that to the controller, it just falls apart, especially at the aerials. There's been a couple that just seems to have misjudged a wee bit there. It was well off the wall to get it by Jambo, but not past Adam. Sets up nicely for a big punt down the field from Mad Lance, but Aaron is able to start back to fairly easily. Oh, corner, get corner boost. I was expecting a, a bigger clearance there. Jambo could have very easily knocked that one on target and made it awkward. Great centre ball though, but well defended by Aaron. Oh, I, I think both of them, both of them there had a slight whiff that could have went either way. If Aaron gets a knockdown view just like that, it's probably a goal. Again, it's unfortunate for Mad Ones. Yeah, on the side of Chungus Esports here. He is in a good position, he's not, not being caught up field. But um just gets unfortunate to play the ball. Droidica in here asking why neither of us have nets. So do in fact have a net. Just hidden behind my massive masculine beard. <laughs> but Droidica surely can come in here. Slaters like that without even saying, Alright, how's it gone? Straight into the chat, going for the neck. Love that. I mean, I respect the droid stuff, but he's followed up with how's it gone. Eh? Well, Aaron could have maybe went for that one there as it crossed the face of the goal. It didn't look like Madlands was going to come out and challenge it more than half to just, to just sit on his line there. Very acute boost control there from Lee Jambo. Oh, mad, mad ones does well there just to take it away from, uh, from Jambo, I think it was. Put the backwards to fake out where he's going to go. Works out in his favour. Aaron can't really get anything going off the wall there.
Oh, another slight whiff. Are they going to be made to pay for that? Are they able to finish? Well recovered by Mad Ones. Very well recovered. So 20 seconds in Rocket League, it can be done, but what have they got in the tank here? Whiff by Aaron. Mad Ones is trying to put them under pressure. Knocked away. What can Chomzy do? We Jumbo beats him to it. If they get a goal here, they could very well tie it up straight from the tip-off. Just, yeah, oh, just too much to be done. See, I think that the scoreline says 2-0, but the two goals are very avoidable. Shomzy there before the game kicks off, saying Chungus, please be with us. He wasn't in that in this instance, but maybe as we go back for the, the second leg of this, maybe he will be then. Absolutely. I, th I think that that's a game that could have went either way. It was two very unfortunate goals if you're, you know, from the, looking at it from a Chungus perspective. But from Aaron and we Jambo, they'll take all the chances they can get. It's the double-edged sword when it comes to Rocket League in my eyes. Is you want to be putting the other team under pressure, but if if you're playing all the football in their half and they happen to just get one good touch, then th that's you. You know what I mean? Getting a shout in the chat that my yeah. mic's a bit quiet. You just want to turn me up on Discord. Yeah. So every, every now and again, you peek in the red. So I turned you down a bit. I think I maybe turned you down too much. I mean, just stop shouting. I'll leave you at that volume. I just get excited. <laughs> That's it. Right, uh, Sorry about that, guys. Sometimes I forget that I've got a neck and then I see it and I get excited. So. The best team won, maybe I'm a bit. It's my mod. Do we have, do we have a. The, the child of Emma Gaiden here? Wow. Well. Jambo. Straight what in finish. there. What a finish. This is intensive to watch, yeah. Oh, Teriyaki boys. Whoa. I'm a massive fan of that. Aye, Rocket League of Hud. A load of collabs in the game, they had the Fast and the Furious one. That's where they got the GTR added from. Teriyaki boy is a serious ass to tune in the motor. Love that. Wow, oh, big demo. Shomzy's chasing it, what can we jambo do? Puts it on target, what a save by Maguanto. Pressure still on, no adding controls it in the middle of the park, just try to play a bit of keep ball here, but it actually says Mad Ones up, look at Jumbo do, wow. What a save, but can he get it away before Mad Ones puts it back in? Well done. Good double save there. Ah, oh, Mad Ones. I'm with just you. Just managed to get it, to get the ball under control again. Passes it off to be Jumbo off the wall, what gets the flip. double flick. Oh. 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 with a nice save what there. A save. We are being treated to some decent Rocket League now. Is it finished there? Oh, I see. Nearly, nearly gets the follow up. Yeah, nearly gets the second touch to that. Shomzy just puts it in the middle. Great touch. It's a good save by Aaron. Aaron should have this under control. Should beat him to the ball. Yep. Knocks it down field. What can he do? Oh. Comes across to help out his man Shomzy. Oh, Aaron close. just can't get there and we jamble. I think, he, I think he's bet on Aaron yeah. scoring that there and he's just not in the position to knock it in so it was a free goal. I would, I would put cash on the idea that the hands were off the controller celebrating there. But can he fit all oh, the feet? Oh, well, take it away win. from Shomzy but Mad lands there. Says you might get it by my man but not me. Shomzy tries to knock the ball down only as far as Aaron who better connection on it. Oh wow, this should Does be well knock it down to Jambo. Puts it back up. Cross my hands Off the line. Tell you what, if we this was real life, we need a VAR call on that one. I don't think you get much closer than that. What a save from Madlands off the line. Is there again to clear it? This is some intense pressure, but Mad Madlands and Shondi are doing very well to soak it up. Every time the ball gets down into that blue half though, Aaron and Jambo just immediately soak it up, grab the ball and come straight back at them. I think Sholmsy was a wee bit hasty to, to rotate back there. Oh, Mad Ones had done a great job to get the ball into a central position, to at least have a, a shot on goal, but... 
Chomzy had already rotated out. Like 50 50, we jumbo had to win that and they did. And again, well done. What can Aaron do here? Can he take it away from Mad Ones? Mm. He's got the ball, but I don't know if it's quite under control and it wasn't. What a goal from Mad Ones. See an Football coach always it. told me you never pass the goal across your own box. Never. Never pass and the goal been, across your own box. Dirk. Yep. <laughs> never, pass, never pass the ball across your own box. Because it leads to situations like that. It's an easy tap in for the Chungus Esports as they level up the game one apiece. Good flick from Wee Jambo, but just couldn't get it sent towards goal. Good cross, so Aaron just wasn't there. Capitalise on it. Has the ball in his own corner now though. There's a wee break just to get on the control bit. And actually under friend is under pressure. He lost out in the corner boost there as well, so Aaron's trying to make this rotation downfield without boost. We jumbo misses. Ends up coming to nothing anyway. Showing the mad ones combined to relieve do. the pressure. I'm not sure Mad Ones has met that, but he could well have teed up for Aaron. Well done. He's, just, he's done just that. Like, Mad, Mad Ones is maybe, maybe... Seems to be shooting himself in the foot a wee bit here with some of the plays he's trying to make. It's just a wee bit too aggressive, a wee bit too hasty. I think if he's just a, a few yards back from, from wherever he is, he'll get a much better contact on the ball. But I think maybe just trying to do a wee bit too much too soon. And it, it's led to another poor goal to give away. And it's... it's either, Arden and Jambo are leading this game again. With a minute to go. Under pressure here we Jambo. What can we do? Well he's out to mad ones but Arden has his back. Arden's positioning throughout this entire series has been brilliant. That's indeed like, what a shot! Oh. Any time the ball's been brought down into, into their half from mad ones or storms, it's, it's Arden there just to clear up the, any danger and allow we Jambo to try and make plays off the wall or follow up and knock into a central position. Oh, Aaron. what a near miss. Oh, another near oh, miss. Oh, Jambo, you oh, can't be missing things like that. Doesn't look like it will come back to haunt them, though. Hey, Still with a goal yourself. advantage. You watch yourself. Why go do on. you see go, these go, things? Go. Oh, it's off the bar. Oh, oh, man, man, you can get there to turn it in. Oh, no. And try to the follow up. Oh man. That is a that's oh, a genuine that's a heartbreaker. Oh. That's a sickner. That is as close as you can get. Slicer says this is intensive oh. to watch talking about the last game. Tell you what, what about those last 15 seconds? <laughs> Oh, it's, it's so unfortunate for, for Chungus Esports, but well played to Wee Jambo's team. What a game from those four boys. Wow. From those four characters. What a, what a match. GG's all round. Take the first game that we that we watched with the, the granny shifters, and now now this one. I think we're in for, for a, a good wee night of Rocket League here. Absolutely. Absolutely, we've been treated to two phenomenal series to kick this off. Just try to get the the credential so mm, yeah. for this next game. No worries, we're just being treated to Nevada right now, so I mean I can live with that. There you go. I, th I think it's just the same ones again, mate. Da, 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 da. GG's mad ones. GG's mad ones. Played well. It was a, it was a brilliant series to watch. Absolutely.
Tell you what, I wouldn't sit, I wouldn't mind seeing some Chungus representation in the, in the next day, uh, the next scalp tournament that we run on Rocket League. You've you've built up, you've built up a wee bit of a rivalry there in the, in the chat, Mad Ones. Let's mm -hmm. see you take it to the to the big stage. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Says Jamie McKay. Put you back in here, Jamie. So we've already seen James yeah. and, and Cameron, so we know what they're all about. Oh, oh. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what's happening with the Forbes out. And we might have the menu glitch. Yep, yeah. I think, think we might be getting a restart here. Yeah, and we jambo, mate. Well played. Well played, Jamie. Yeah, I think this is going to look like a, a restart. Middle Eastern servers. I don't know who's done that, but it's not me. I don't know. <laughs> I simply joined the lobbies. <laughs> but uh, we'll get well that sorted happy. as quickly well as we possibly Cheers can. for hosting. Ah, not a problem, Jamie. It's all on the, it's all on the Brave Junior. We're, we're just here to to help out wherever we can. So all thanks and all praise. We'll gladly take it, but <laughs> should all be directed at, at the Brave Junior. What a setup we've got here. There's a team in this called Granny Shifters, and that is absolutely frightening, pa. I'm a massive fan of that, man. <laughs> Granny Shifters. Guys, you need to restart PC, that's cool. Yes. Aye, we've, uh, we've seen Granny Shifters already, that was, uh, that was um, the first game that we watched. With, uh, yeah, with Grandy and Zuffo. They've dropped down to the loser's bracket for now, but I reckon, I reckon we see them again. Yeah, absolutely. So we're just waiting on the, on the lobby getting set back up again, but shouldn't be too long, hopefully. We'll get right back into some Rocket League. This is a so, game that I always really, really, really want to get good at, and then I play like an hour of it and realise I'm really, really, really not good at it and get seriously annoyed. <laughs> I was just about to ask you a sort of related question. If, if you're if you're playing in this tournament tonight, how far do you think you get? Rounded. Think you get, think you get double rounded? Oh yes. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I reckon you've got a chance against the likes of Chunky Esports. I am a serious ball chaser. I'll take no one you end those based on that comment. <laughs> Chungus, we win, I think. I think? He doesn't sound very confident. I think that's Gaz back in. So, a chance against what a lie. There you go. <laughs> that is made the confidence we're after. There we go. Everyone has an off day, mad one. So I'm, I'm certain that's all it was, mate. Tell, tell you what, I will absolutely not accept is a 1v1 challenge from you because I will 100% lose. I'm just sitting here in my, my, in my superior gaming chair, giving out the part when <laughs> I absolutely do not have the skills or capabilities to carry out. Any sorts of promises that I need to follow. So, <laughs> fair play, mad ones. Far better player than I am. So here we go. We with a shout for Alva Apex, asking when they're playing. 
It's like in the it's like in COD when they ask when's up when does Optic play, it's when does <laughs> Alva play here. Got your wish. Here we go, let's get this kicked off. So 50-50, but James gets a better of it. It's fully past Forbesy. Oh, wow. I don't think you can ask for a better start. Yeah. James, talk about getting the break of the ball. Kiko. 100%. That's what you use. right stick fellow. <laughs> Jungus, whatever works for you mate. Tell you what, DM me on Discord, I've had about 10 years worth of coming up with excuses as to why I'm not good at games. <laughs> How's it going Nando? Welcome in Nando. Felt bad and didn't want this to be another 10 0 Chungus game. That's it, Chungus. You've got to give the, the, op the opposition some, some glimmer of hope, don't you? That's all it is. Minor setback for a big comeback. I expect to, to see Chungus Esports advancing through the grand finals through the, the losers bracket. I'll let you be the one to, pro to prove me wrong. I'll tell you what, James has probably had the luckiest first minute of Rocket League of his life. Let's see, what, at what point does it stop being luck, and what and when does it stop being uh, sheer skill? When does it, cro when does it cross into skill? Yeah. Nando, this is not pre recorded, this is actually live. This is a tournament put on by the Brave GG and very kindly sponsored by HyperX. Um, we have an 18 bracket Rocket League tournament. We're currently watching a winner's bracket match uh, between uh, what teams? You press tap. Tab. Tab. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Between Alva Apex and the Pinchman. Um, match one in our three match series. I think the winner of this goes into the winner's finals. Whoa, good chip yeah, James. I think, I think you do. I think we had a, a couple of dropouts. Um, mm -hmm. So what was meant to be an 18 tournament is now down to 6. So the games come at you thick and fast and you progress through the, the bracket very quickly. Yep. And that, that's a good goal by Forbes 8. Get some back into this game. Using the superior car that is Fennec, so well played Forbes 8. <laughs> I'll have no Octane gang coming at me here. It's all about the Fennec. That's a lovely kick off from James and then gets a, a bump into the bargain as well onto, onto Monarch there. Oh. That was maybe just too high, but Cameron. Just not able to get the double touch off the wall. Now it's James's turn. <laughs> just too high. He's just too high. Monarch completely whips that one. Oh, yeah. For Forbes, it should be a comfortable save for Cameron. It's went behind him though. It's on James to clear it now. A bit of a dangerous area. Forbes is going to be a wee bit more advanced there. That's a big tackle there for Monarch. I think if he misses that, that's almost a certain goal after the, the, the sort of positioning that Forbes he was in. But oh, is that on target? Unfortunately not, but what can he do it now? Monarch takes it away. That's what I'm saying, Slicer. I'm not about the Octane line. Up the Fennec. Well played from Cameron. Yeah. He's going for the fake, he gets by one, ah, he doesn't get by Monarch. I think he's actually with that one yeah, there. He just gets no pace on the shot. Good centre, looking forward to do he finishes it. We are all tied up halfway through this match. That's very unlucky for James, but these things happen in football. We love that. Tell you what, we've, had, we've watched two series so far. We've both been 2 0. Neither of those games have went to overtime. I want to see two, two 1 series here with all three games going to overtime. There's four brilliant players on the field here. I just want to see them play for as long as they possibly can. James, James knocks that one in there too. I nearly immediately said to you, absolutely wrap that. We want to win this. Hey, 
Forbes a Monarch could well answer back in the exact same way. But if you're getting kickoffs like that, probably not. <laughs> James is saying, listen to you, stupid. <laughs> we win these. Beautiful play from James there. Just gets up over the top of Monarch. Forbes had been bumped into the Shadow Realm, was nowhere near getting a... I mean, look, look at this bounce again from James. Wow. James has scored a hat-trick in the exact same goal. He gets the bounce at kickoff. he follows it up well, is able to read the path it has, and I think Monarch does himself no favours there by trying to reverse rather oh, than... Oh, two seconds, I just need to jump away. I've accidentally locked my girlfriend out of the house. Right, James gets the exact same kick off again. Monarch in a better position that time. Clear the ball. Still with Monarch now. He's not able to get enough power or direction on that ball there as it falls to James. Comes up off the wall. I'll set in a central position. Could Cameron be there to tap it in? Yes. Here's me saying I want all three games in this series to go to overtime. I think that's just lit fire within the belly with James and Cameron they're saying no way we want this done and we want this done quickly there's now a four goal deficit with a minute 45 to play I've seen stranger things happen in Rocky League but a come back's going to happen it needs to start it needs to start quick I think James manages to tap this one in Warnock says not today I think five goals now is maybe just a stretch too far. I think even as it stands, four goals is becoming a stretch too far with every second it picks down. It's Forbes and Monarch in a good position here to bring one back. It's a brilliant save from James. It just took too long getting that pass and play together. Ended up not being able to generate enough power into the final shot. Forbes eight. Demos one. Sends Cameron for a hot dog. Gavin says I'll get one back on your mate then. James brings that one down off the wall. I'm not entirely sure what he's trying to do there, he's just allowed Forbes to be hit at clean in this. Sends it downfield, corner boost up for grabs. Forbes with 22 left, probably a better play to go for it. He's been left and he's retrieved it. He was just too late. He was too late in getting the boost. Stayed up there for too long, didn't rotate back in time. And that's Cameron free to tap into an empty net. If Five this is goal me, advantage with 35 seconds to go. If this is me, I'm just chalking this game up entirely right now and starting the regain for the next match. 100%. You see, well, the trail. This is 1 0 in the series, and you don't let this happen again. Regain, start again at 0 0 in 30, 30 seconds. It's 7 2. However, three of these goals were the exact same and all came directly from kickoff. So sharpen up the sharpen up your positioning from kickoff. Maybe get the actual kickoff run to the ball tightened up a bit. You're right back down to four two at least. Yeah you're bang on. You're bang on. Pinchman go up one 0 in the series. Love that. Spend all that time trying to get a stream up running perfect, like fix the settings, think you've got everything sorted, and then realise you've locked your girlfriend out in the rain. Can never account for everything. They just told her to wait. Important <laughs> things like casting this rocket league tournament. 100%. It's not like it's a storm outside with thunder and lightning. No chance, yeah. So, I didn't get my wish for uh, overtime in game one. Maybe we'll at least get Al the Apex answering back to tie the series up so that we, we get the third map. Third match.
just seen someone in the, the lobby there called Six and it just immediately took me to Lodric's producer. Here we go. That's another dominant kick off yeah. from Cameron and James. I know Monarch and Forbes, he can't hear me and probably don't want my opinion, but it seems as if he's decided to not take any of it in as Cameron. Yeah. I think it took them 14 seconds and they're already 1 0 up. I think, if anything, they just look a little bit nervy. The, the ball initially gets sent into their half. Um, they get a knock away, but then they kind of sit in just like waiting for the inevitable pressure. I think if they, one of them at least pushes out for that, that they don't get caught underneath their own goal, if you know what I mean. Yep. Much stronger kick off from them there, though. Big demo for James. Cameron tries to knock this down in the middle. Hits the underside of the ball. I think we did a VAR call for that. that the entire ball looked like it crossed the line to me. Forbes, Forbes him, Forbes neat, him, Monarch. Neat tidy dribble in there. Wipe the sweat off their brow as they take the ball down into the other half as Cameron's botched that aerial. Almost allowed Monarch enough time to get in in front of him there. Ooh, James clears the danger James. on his own. Good He's up for Cameron to go wow. top pins. Brilliant goal wow. from James and Cameron. That is some good team football. Look at this. Cameron times it perfectly, tees it up for James and he's just there. I, re I reckon that ball's going top bins even if James isn't there to follow it up. What a finish. Puts the style points on. Increase their deaths, increase their advantage by, by another. Cool. So th this is exactly New what we're saying. A, the a, good. Bit more, a bit more pressure to the kickoff from Monarch and uh, uh, Forbes 8. And look where they are. They're right, they're right in the orange half of the field. Monica, I think, was like inches away from scoring there. Gets caught underneath it, gets underneath the ball here. Cameron can get it centred. I feel like so much of the play can be dictated in Rocket League from just the kickoffs alone. Yeah. Because just the starting positions that people take, you know, it's the race for, it's the race for corner boost, it's the wow. race to the ball. There's so many decisions wow. that can be made with in and around kickoff and the, the sort of plays that follow it and the score can very very quickly get away from you just like we've seen in the in the last game we end up 7-2 yeah. but it's 3-0 here the game's slightly more open but if uh, the goals keep crucial. coming the goals keep coming I reckon the Portuguese could well open again as it seems that Forbes and Monarch just don't quite have the setups from uh, from kickoff to deal with the plays that Cameron and James are, are making Monarch takes this one down the field. Sort of loses it there from pressure from James. Always Forbes that he have a go at it. Isn't able to get it by Cameron, no. Pulls it up. Good save from Monarch. Puts it on target because Cameron gets it. It's a nice touch, does. it's just, just not enough power on it to get it by Cameron. You'll take those all day long. Forbes knocks that one in. Yeah, an awkward place for Monarch. I think they've just done enough there. Just enough and no more. Big demo for Cameron though. The pressure will surely come now. James gets a big knock on that. That'll wow. fall nicely for him. He read the bounce of the ball brilliantly. That's 4 0. So Forbes and Monarch might not be listening to me about the <laughs> about the, the position and the place from kickoff, but Cameron and James certainly have if they They've heard my call for overtime in game threes, they're saying absolutely not, we want this game over and done with as quickly as possible to get us advanced again. That is great control for James, but equally great defending for Corbsy. I agree, mad ones. I agree. It's like you can't you can't open the locker too much, otherwise all your tricks will fall out. Do a bit of a thing. It looks like Cameron and James are just turning on the style here now. Yeah, the gloves are off. No punches being pulled. Cameron hunting Forbes down. 
It may well be any yeah. downfalls is allowed a goal in. Yeah, there we go. And you can see here from the replay, Cameron playing too much for the demo, not prioritising yeah. getting back into a good position there. It's, it's an easy goal to clear, but poor positioning. Big start. Ultimately though, there's still three goals to the good, so I don't think it'll come back to haunt them too much. Because it seems that Cameron and James can, can score it well in this tie, so I fully expect there to be more goals. Over one, yeah, gonna get it by two. Dribble, Position brilliantly for the flick. Post. Wow. It's well played from Forty. Just gets it cleared. Unfortunately, Monarch had been demoed because he was on the pitch. I think he's got a free hit at goal. It's both Cameron and James committed to the offensive press there. Ah, big demo, open goal. James is toying with him now. even need no, to move. That is just... Oh, oh, oh no, he's been sent for a hot dog, Monarch. That is If you're going to fly across, it looks make contact with the ball. That is very mean. Oh, no. Wow. Can you clip things on YouTube? Wow. Some, somebody... If somebody clips that, please never show it to Monarch. <laughs> oh, no, I hate that. If it was me, that, that's the he's gone. That's the controller down. Find a substitute, because I'm not playing. <laughs> it's 6-1. I did say Cameron and James seem to just be able to score it well here, and it seems to just be proving that more and more with each passing second that this game goes on. 7-2. indeed bullying, Slicer. That is the 7-2, <laughs> game 1. 6-1 in game 2. I mean... If it wasn't done before, it's done now. It just seems that Forbes and Monarch just have no answer to what Cameron and James are able to put towards them. And they can get they can get clearances like this, but they've really had to deal with nothing from Cameron and James' perspective. The goal the goal that they did concede was a mistake from uh, James just getting a bit too greedy on the, the demo play rather than yeah. prioritising the rotation, but I mean, it's ultimately it doesn't matter at the end of the day. I'm a big fan of that as well, even though there was a little bit of, sorry, BM in, in the game. Four GG's all around in the chat afterwards. Big fan of that. GG's. Only the finest sportsmanship here at the Brave GG. Everyone's still here for a wee team photo after it as well. Lovely. <laughs> so I think you've got the next game ready to go as well. Run a tight ship here. No messing about straight into the games. We've seen both these teams before. We talk about can you do a cold Wednesday night in Stoke? Well, can you do it on a snowy Friday night in Champions Field? We'll leave that up to Grandy and Zuffo and Madland and Chalmsey to decide who can. That's like a win. a nice open. position. Nice powerful hit. 20 seconds in, we've already got our first goal. Shomzy and Mad Ones is both caught underneath the ball a little bit there, I think. Shomzy actually ended up on his own goal. Big 50 50 start. Oh, just doesn't get there, Zuko as well. Mad Ones will collect it though. 
Just oh, a wee bit, it just a wee bit of context for this game. This is the first losers game that we've seen. So I think that's the winners bracket all settled. Um, so the loser of this goes home. That is nice control from Mark Wands. As he gets the pinch off the ground there. Okay, what well, that's on target, I don't think Zuffle's able to get anywhere near it to clear. Grande takes the ball down. Zuffle's there. Balls him again. Right place, Zufo. right time. He's on a hat trick now. Still got four minutes to do it. Team really getting yeah. control of the ball. I think that was a mad one's so up high. Long. Zuffo's not got the boost. Whoa, He's been saved God. by the woodwork twice. Oh my God. Three times. Mad ones and Chomzy. I think they got really unlucky in the first game that we've seen. And um, I mean, <laughs> and it's just happened again. Uh, yeah, there is no other one to describe that. The bar, oh. the post, the other post. Like they had Zuffo. At their mercy, he had no boost. Hit that high, he's not getting it. He just can't direct it on target. Big save there for Shomzy. Now Zuffo's here Zuffo to make them pay for right the hat trick. Right time, yet again. That is a man that knows how to take his chances. It's, it's a game in moments. Like This is a completely different game if Madwans and, and Shomzy are able to get one of their three shots on target there, but then Zuffo's now just on his hat trick and it's 16 0 is the game beyond them now? I mean, no, no chance. Three, three goals in Rocket League can go in in three seconds if you get them all from kickoff. But no. it's just about it's just about the mentality. Three nils are a lot further away than two one. Now you were talking earlier on about like don't like the Octanes, Fennec Gang, blah blah blah. Now yeah. there is a man in this lobby after my own heart. Grandy. Using the DeLorean. Using the DeLorean. <laughs> and he scores as a game. He's, as a he's gone 88 miles an hour to go up five for that one. Granny Shifter indeed. I love this boy. Go on the Grandy. I don't think there's been... Obviously everyone's good, but I mean, when you get teams entering a tournament, some. He gets some that are better than others, some that are just there to just have a bit of a laugh and they're fodder at the end of the day. Not seen any of that at all here. No, it's been, it's been There's games. been some ball outs, don't get me wrong, but even the team that's been on the receiving end of a pretty heavy defeat, two cracking players, and it's the same here. It's, it's, the score says 4-0, but it could be, it's, it should be a lot closer. Yeah, I'll agree, I'll agree. For all some of the scores, as you said, look like blowouts. The, the actual match themselves weren't really. So, well, I mean, we had that. Big finish. Zufo. Zufo got all five. Always, always where he needs to be. Grandy well, scored one. He scored four goals. And he's still got two minutes left to play. That's a brilliant pass if Zuffo's in a position to fly up and meet that. Falls nicely for Shalmzy. Not sure what the call was there. How's it going, Abby Martin? Welcome in, welcome in. Zuffo just knocks it. It's one down. There's a wee bit of collision there between Mad Ones and Shalmzy, and it's Ali Grande in the front post. 6 0. I mean, if the game wasn't beyond them before, it certainly is now. Yeah, yeah. but uh, just again back to what I was saying the last game, I think it was. If this is me, I'm chalking this up, I'm starting the regain, and I'm focusing on not letting the same mistakes happen at uh, map 2. Yeah. Wow. Whoa, the post from Zufo. Grandi puts it back in the middle, though, can he knock it down? Big save for Mad Ones. 
that's the thing, like, we've had moments in this game, Mad Ones, eh, I think, as we say, Mad Ones hit a post, the crossbar on another post. Now, this, this could have went either way, it's just, as you have said, a game of moments, and Zufo and Grandi are absolutely taking the moments. Mark Forbes says he still has faith in Chungus. Hey, well, I mean, we're not, still it's, it's, not, it's not on aggregate. Just about maps one, so they've still got two goals at it. Yeah, it's the snow, exactly, Callum, that's it. It's the snow. The wheels are too cold, their brakes don't work as well, it's, it's, it's the snow. That's it. Zufo from up high. I think he's just trying to put that in a position for Grandy to come and meet that, but maybe he wasn't in the position, maybe he didn't have the boost. That is a great shot. Oh, <laughs> goal. The boy just falls to Zufo. Over and over again, he just manages to find the top bins. He's like Thomas Miller. Just always in the right position to, to snipe, snipe a an idle opportunity. What's the key? Gets his boost. Off the wall, send it back up. Mad ones from downtown, no. Can Grandy get to that? Knocks it onto the, the backboard. No one can get a touch to it. Grandy gets it away. Coming here again. Just got to the point where they're just turning on the style. Piling on the agony. Madwan's gonna get a consolation goal here. Grandy closes that door, says no thank you. We want the clean sheet, thank you very much. Mark Forbes coming in here dropping the big fungus. Well, <laughs> got to get a serious regain if there's any chance of a, a reverse sweep coming here. Let's hope we get a nice dry park and the Chungus boys can show us what they're like on, on solid ground. Didn't they have their winter tyres on? Let's see if they can hit the regain and come back at this. There we go. None of your snow, none of this snow nonsense anymore. I think this, this is my favourite map. Vibe. Seriously vibe. It's the cherry blossoms, man. It yeah, shifts yeah. relaxing, it's zen. Ah, we've had a game crash. May well get a, a restart here. Yeah. <laughs> One note in the grandy boy. <laughs> <laughs> Good bait. So, just... Well, well, we wait for the, the game to, games to get sorted here. Um, I was wrong. The the winners bracket hasn't concluded. Um, yeah, we still there's the final, don't we? There's still the pinchman against Wee Jambo's team, um, in the the winners final to decide who gets the grand final spot there. Right now, we're watching the losers round two, so we've obviously got Chungus oh. Esports against the Grand Shifters. What that you? The winners, the winners of this game, will go on to uh, losers semi finals against either Alva Apex or I'm not actually sure who Alva Apex are playing but it'll be Alva Apex or whoever happens to put them out of the tournament. So we're just waiting on the, the lobby getting remade and then Stugs will jump right back into that one but until then you've got our ugly dishes to look at and great tunes to listen to. So Mark Forbes, tell me this, what uh, what Chungus got to do to, to get the regain here? We play we jumbo next, Cameron. Um, I'm not entirely sure, mate. I don't. The brackets. It's up. That's the lobby back up, mate. You should be able to join it. Um, Cameron. Um, I don't have a, a live link to the bracket. I'm just getting it sent every every so often. Um. So this 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 is a wee bit out of date as it is. I'm just sort of trying to to keep up with it myself, but I'm not entirely sure. 
Unless you're telling me that you're playing Wee Jumbo next, then you probably got it right. <laughs> Breaks my heart to skip that song. Wow, we're, we're already in <laughs> one nil. Can we at least catch it. Zufo again, right place, right time. There you go. <laughs> Grandy just gets a bit too much underneath that, but it's in the mix. Good block for Shom to do it. Don't think he quite gets the contact he was after there though, but good, good follow up tackle. Zufo centers it. Oh, I don't think that's the contact he was wanting again. Big finish, wow. Wow, I thought that was a definite goal for Grandi there. That's a phenomenal finish from Zufo. That was so unfortunate for Grandi, but Zufo, right place, right time. So he, the chance had maybe passed him by there, but that was really well to let the ball sort of drift out, grab that corner boost, and then he done the rest. 2-0. Mad one, she smokes that one back, grabs corner boost, but just allows Grandi enough time to get the ball back. Not came too much. It's not going to be on target, but Mad Land, he's actually made a yeah, brilliant he's, save. He's, he's blocked that away from goal almost. Brilliant save. It's, it's these moments that just what are not shown to in Mad One's way. I've got to ask where's Grandi there for the follow up because Zufo's done everything he possibly could to give his teammate the best chance. Wow. I mean, these boys are here to play from downtown Zufo with the aerial. Sheesh. Jonesy typing in chat and gets caught static in his goal. Oh. These things happen in football. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Ah, no. It's always a pain when your goalies try to put a tweet mid game. <laughs> Modern day football. Better with his Zufo. Allows Madeline to try and get it under control, but he's actually sent it towards his own goal. I mean, when you're 4-0 up, you can you can afford a few of those. You can just like ball that. over to Grande. Whoa. 50p. Chan Chance maybe just a wee bit too narrow for him there, but Zufo is going to knock this one right back down. Grande will follow that up and it's 5-0. I mean, I'm not sure what more I need to say. Grande and Zufo, I did say... Maybe got a wee bit unlucky drawing a team like Granny Shifters in the, in the first round. Doing the damage here against uh, Chungus Esports. Currently, the, the, so the series above, because we had a, a lobby reset, says 0 0, but it is in fact 1 0 to, to Zufo and Grande. So if they win this, that's game over. And we'll say good night to Chungus Esports. A solid regain here for the boys. But I need to jump away for two seconds. Yeah, no, <clears throat> Wonder if he's locked his girlfriend out in the in the rain as well. Oh, why is he? Why is he turning these camera off? Why is he turning my stream? Great goal.
I'm gonna I'm gonna be bold here and say I think this one's just got an LF show and saying mad ones. It's been a well fought match, but yeah, I just think it's a case of Zufo and Grandi just been a little bit too much for them. Major props to the boys for hanging in there though. <laughs> I love that in the chat for showing you. Ball well played into there, that's a good finish. Great save, even better save. This game has right, just had back. The, like a, an old Nine Yeah, Zufo's just had a, like, almost a god given talent. You need to turn your camera back on, bro. It is on. Oh, uh, shit, can you turn it off and back on again for me? There you go. Why is that? What's happening? There we go. Yeah, I can see you now. Dennis Kenger coming in with Yo Hermione didn't die. I'm going to need yeah, context I've, I've on asked that one, for Dennis. context, but he's yet to follow up. Could this one go double digits? Mad one's with a shot on goal there, but. Oh. Oh, Shomzy. Where have you went? What's happened there? I think the heads are well and truly gone, if oh, I'm honest. I, I think so. I don't know if it'll come up because nothing else might get put in, but we'll shoot away. Sean's put a message in chat saying, I don't know about this Rocket League game, but this steak I'm eating sure is good. <laughs> so, the heads have went for a wee while, I think. At least, at least the man's eating well. Exactly. Treating himself. Big save from Grandy. Keeps the clean sheet intact. Big chat. Wow. Zufo is every game that he plays looking more and more like a player here. I mean, I'm just running out of adjectives to describe the goals that keep going in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his connection four minutes ago. <laughs> I don't think it would have made a difference if he was here or not when the score reads 11-0. <laughs> Could it be 12? Probably. Wow. Looks like it's going to be. Wow. You know that lovely goal comes with the yeah. that one and just thundering to cross Next goal the winner. That. Next goal the winner. <laughs> <laughs> GG mad ones, we're going to a game 3. <laughs> GG's 2-0 to the Granny Shifters in this series, they advance. That's the Granny Shifters on to, if I just take a look at the bracket, that's them on to the Losers semi-final. So now they await the, the winners of Alva Apex's next match. I'm told of playing. Ah, um, so it's Pinchman versus Jambo. Um, I'm not sure actually. I think there's maybe a wee bit of confusion with the bracket. So we've had a couple of teams drop out. Mm -hmm. um, and as we're both well aware, Stugs, it's never fun trying to sort a bracket when you've got team, teams dropping out once you've, if you've not accounted for a buy and. It's just a difficult one to keep track of. So, no one's well, fault. These things happen. It just makes it a wee bit more difficult to to just glance at it and get a, a clear picture of what's going on. What a tune I'm getting here, though. It's every tune in Rocket League top yeah, class because it comes straight from Monster Cat. I'm a big fan of this. I'm a big fan of this.
Here we go, your winners finals. It's absolutely breaking my heart to have all these uh, songs cut short. <laughs> but for good reason, we have a winner's finals on our hands here. That's fair enough, mad ones. <laughs> that's, that's what I tell myself every time I lose a game as well. You just got to give other people a chance. It's cool. <laughs> you know, it's all all the time. Alright. <laughs> 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 I mean, uh, it was an inside job. Like, if, that's what, if that's what you've got to tell yourself to get over a, a, an 11, I'm sorry. 12-1 scudding, then that's what you've got to do. I've been there. Oh, what a goal by James. It does not take this man long to score. Inside the first minute yet again, puts his team in the lead. That's unfortunate for Aaron and Jambo. I think if they, if they sort of circle back a second there, at least one of them clears that. The one on I mean, the end was a glitch, it was 1-1. One, one. <laughs> ah, well, I mean, we, we called next goal winner, and then they knocked it into... That's when you got your goal back, so... In, in my eyes, that game... See, should have went to a game three, but... <laughs> I'm on your side here, Trimnix, so don't you worry. James nails the kickoff every single time. Oh, he's centred that. Well, well defended by Aaron though. Jambo tries to get it under control. Whiffs slightly, but puts it back in the middle. James is there though. What can James do with this? I think he was just trying to fake it a bit. Puts it in the middle. Cammy misses it. Aaron misses it. James puts it back in well away by Jambo though. Gets the pressure off for a second. Comes back though, what can they do? Brilliant safety we jambo. Well read, well executed block. Aaron and Jambo, I think just need to try and get a wee bit of pressure away from here. Take a breather, get the ball out of their half. It's a slight whiff by Aaron, but well defended by Jambo. <laughs> I'm not sure about that one, Jungus. <laughs> not sure you've read the rules correctly. Great shot by James, but well defended by Aaron. Cami brings it right back at him though. Can we jumbo do? Oh, it's a crossbar, James is back on it though. I was typing away in the oh, the, okay. uh, the admin Discord there. I thought my uh, my thing would like accidentally mute you for some reason. Nah, nah, we're all good. Just so you don't hear my clicky my clicky keyboard. But I'm just saying Chungus asking for a participation prize <laughs> right. headset. Now Mad One's talking about some 150 quid. Never heard of that in my life. <laughs> if there's any rigs going on, it was from a. Uh, Sir Bean roll, not not Stiggs and I. We're just we're just humble casters. Tonight is not about skill though. It's not. It's about Cameron and James. Yes. Absolutely destroying everybody in here. Yeah, it steps in their path. They want those HyperX heads hits. They want to be the champion to the brave GG of the Rocket League tournament. And who can blame them? Me. I'd be all over us a set of HyperX headsets. I've had this exact same pair of Astro A40s <laughs> since Modern Warfare 3 came out. I got these for the X on my Xbox 360. They outlasted that. Had them all the way through my PS4. They work on my PS5. Now I've got them on my PC. You can't even get these anymore. They're relics. <laughs> They're called it's a great finish, Cameron. BXRs. Don't even do them. Cameron and James are just so good at keeping their opponents like pressured, pressured pretty much underneath their own sort of their own goals. 
desperately defending, and even when they do get one knocked away, they're right back on them, right back on top. It all comes from the kickoffs that James is able, James is able to get. That's it. I don't think I've seen him lose a single one where he's the one to go for it. I had that head save, but my dog ate it. It's a rip for you, Jungus. Unlucky, brother. Very nice dribble by James. Really a very nice finish as well. I'm keeping James there. I mean, he's already got a hat trick, so he won't, he won't be crushing that one too much. Here. Jambo tries to set it, but whiffs ever so slightly. Get a shot on target, but it's saved by James. And now they come back at him again. They slow it down. They just get the ball on the control. Tries for the fake, but Jambo reads it. Jumbo's got no push oh, to get by. No. I mean, he's he's got he's got to he's got to flip it to try and yeah. get the save. He's got no push. James, it's, that's just well I'm not sure if James. he's able to read it. Oh yeah, he has read it. He's he's fake and he's paused his shot. It's, it's well played from James there. If Jumbo doesn't go for that and James takes the shot, Jumbo crushes his cell, but. So he's got, he's got to try and save it, just well read by James. Jesus. Uh, so salt in the wounds at this point. Cameron. Salt in the wounds. Cameron and James coming right back down the throats of oh. Jambo and Aaron. It's up high. Can James wow. get there? Of course he can. Now, I'm starting to sound can. like a serious broken record here, right? But Aaron and Jambo have just got to chalk this up. It was a bad game. It was an off game. They know they can beat these boys. Regain for the next map. Yep. We are not scoring 7 goals in 31 seconds. Well, 7 kickoffs. <laughs> James and Cameron are just able to put far too much pressure on Aaron and Jambo. They just lost the chance to get anything going at all in this game. And here's James, probably going to knock it in for number 8, he does. It just always seems to fall though. Always falls perfectly. It's all about his positioning. Like he reads the flight of the ball so well. Yeah. Anything that Aaron and Jambo try to do, he's always there. It's just brilliant to see. The clock will just slowly tick down here. Aaron and Jambo. The game was over a long time ago for them. Men, I think mentally they've been in the, the second game of the series for quite some time. Put this one behind you. 100%. Go on to the next one. Love that. Four GG's. GG's across the board regardless of the result. Sportsmanship costs nothing after all. Exactly. See if you hit ready, it goes. Yeah, no, I was, I was, I was just reading the chat. So, all right, oh, the match is concluded. It's, just, it's not very clear that it's the lobby's waiting on you to hit ready as well because ah, okay. you don't appear in the. In yeah, the yeah. list. Do, 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 do. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Chungus has gone, the tournament isn't the same. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> hey James, there's some serious players left in here. Namely, James. Wow. This he's already I mean... scored again. But see, look, it's from kickoff again. Yep. It's no wonder James scores so quickly every game because his kickoffs are superb. Absolutely. Tart Lamarro, how is it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? Cameron up high. Whips that one. It's going to say it allows Jambo and Aaron to get in, but it's James again. Not allowing them to get anything going. I'm not sure what the boost situation is between <laughs> Jambo and Aaron, but it doesn't matter. He came in there like a torpedo. Well, really No one's saving that. Yeah. We are loving life, Turtle Immortal. Getting treated to some absolutely unbelievable rocket league right now. Better now that you're here, Turtle Immortal. Oh, Aaron's getting himself caught under the ball. Gets that way, though. A shot on target, what can James do? This is just showing off at this point. So that's a free goal. There we go, yeah. We take those. 100%. Oh. A great reaction from Jambo and, and Adam. I mean, Come from a mistake from Cameron and James, but take those every day of the week, especially after the result that you just came in from. I think that's actually the first kickoff I've seen James lose all night. Ultimately, Jambo and Aaron haven't been able to capitalise much on it, but yeah. I mean, usually James is scoring right from kickoff when he's the when he's the player with the path to challenge for it. And that could be just a wee confidence boosting. He needed to. Oh, that's got to go on target there, though. Not far away at all. Well read by Aaron. Slows it down, but big tackle for Cameron. I liked what Aaron was doing there. He's seen, uh, he seen James come back, he just slowed it down, got it under control. Oh, that's sending to a monkey. Knock towards oh, goal. Lovely bit of pass and play. Jambo sets him up. In front of him. Aaron dribbling away now. What can he do? Just can't lift it over him. James slows it down. Good touch. Go to the dribble, but well tackled by Jambo. Good area by Aaron. We get that ball away. Close control, oh wow. So you can see the close control by James is just ridiculous. And then the, the read of the ball there to get himself back into the save. Phenomenal. to him but yeah again it's just more pressure coming in from Cameron and James good dribble to get this away desperately trying James to get a small upfield with no boost still no boost the corner boost hadn't spawned in yet uh, I think that's ultimately going to lead to the third goal going in It's unfortunate because Aaron does well to get the ball as far up the field as he did with no boost. He just banks on the, the fact that the corner boost still spawned up the, the top orange side of the map, but unfortunately he didn't. And that's what's allowed half in from Cameron and James to make it 3-1. Gets 
the ball under control and a nice position. He's actually just blocked the shot. He's done everything right. And then he ends up blocking the shot from James. He's put that on target. Oh, oh he's saved from Jambo. Centered so by diff- James. Just can't get the last flick. That save from Jambo there in the corner so difficult to do. Wow. That one could just end up rolling in. Wow. And it has done. James, from what seems like an impossible angle, plays it well. One. It looked so promising when they, they got yeah. the goal back at 2 1, but it's just been three goals without the five since then. And Cameron and James with some serious breathing space here with 30, 33 seconds left. They've all but stamped their position in the finals. We've got to get favourites now, don't they? Absolutely. Absolutely. Take something big for Aaron and Jambo here. It's definitely not completely out of reach, but it needs to be done right now. And unfortunately, with that, I think the comeback will not be on. Yeah, it's unfortunate mm-hmm. for the boys. The pinchment, your first grand final entrances. They advance through the winner's bracket. And that sends We Jambo's team down into the loser's bracket. Maybe we'll see them again for a replay of this in the grand Absolutely. finals, but Absolutely. we'll leave that we'll leave that up to the teams in the loser's bracket to battle on it. Battle it out. I appreciate it, Emma, but thanks. Just gas your cell up. Gas mm-hmm. your cell up. This, this is all. You, this yeah. is all from you. You put this together. He simply only put us in the seat and allowed us to, <laughs> to chat. Absolute nonsense. Percent. <laughs> Gave us something to do on a Friday night that's otherwise a, a darker, miserable one. <laughs> so no, nope. thank you. Just try to get confirmation about what the, the format will be for the, the grand finals. I'm assuming that. It'll follow the, the typical one of um, if the the winners if the winners bracket team wins the first series, that's it, game set match. But if the team that's come up from the losers wins the first best of three, then we've got a bracket reset, and we'll get to do it all over again. I'd assume so. I'd assume so. Yeah, I'd assume so. I'm just trying to get confirmation on it. But I think we're um, we're going to jump in and watch one of the losers bracket matches before we get to the losers final. Um, yeah, there you go, Grandy coming in. Bracket reset. Is final best of five, Cameron. I think it's a best of three still bracket reset, but that can be confirmed. Mm-hmm. 
super tricky. <laughs> Yeah, massive, massive GG's to everyone that's played so far, those that have played and are now uh, out, like well done. The, every game we've seen has been very well fought, some seriously good Rocket League playing. And thanks for hanging about in the chat, some great sportsmanship as well tonight. So, just a, got the confirmation there, Grand Finals will be a best of three, we have bracket reset just as we thought. So it's not a best of five, Cameron, it's just potentially two best of threes. Um, Got a call saying that the hobby's up from, from Slicer. If you want to join that one, Stu. Tunes are on point also. Oh, That's oh, just the okay. tunes that you get from Rocket League. Monster Cat providing the goods. Uh, you need to leave that party, Stu. Yeah, don't worry. Alright. Oh, I'm what? There we go. I'm looking at the YouTube stream that's slightly delayed. And I look at Discord and you're already in. So it looks like we've had a, a sub fake fake summer coming in for uh, for Monarch. Let's see what Sommer can do. He defended his before there. It's like Neo at the Matrix. The Brave Junior gave us some uh, some props on the tunes, but we absolutely 100% cannot take credit for that. <laughs> That's all in the game. That must have been muted when I said that because I mentioned I mentioned that point and it was just it's all monster cat. The tunes awesome. are unbelievable. Ah, oh, that she's marvelous. Quit playing the sinker. I'm gonna have to after myself. I've done that a few times again. Careful. That one could keep in from fake summer. Yeah. Grandy is there. Also, hang on a second. Also, fake, fake summer is just. Ah, okay. I didn't see Zufo coming across fake summer there to get the first touch. I thought it was maybe a, a miss, a miss hit from from fake summer, but no. Grand, uh, Zufo's done very well there. Big Summer gets it under control. A small flick, but Zuko's there. Oh, that may drop in. That may drop that in. Oh, that's a like gun. And sick now. Would you, would you believe who is it? Zuko. <laughs> Always getting. Yeah, he's he's, put, he's positioned his car brilliantly there. That's in, that's completely intentional. Oh, absolutely. The way the way he's rotated his car, it's not just a flip. He's air rolled that to get the correct angle on that. That's an unbelievable goal. He's hitting peak form at the right time of the tournament. Yep. This is better than RLCS, absolutely, I mean, Slicer. You're not wrong. Oh, off the bomb corner by Grandi. What a save! Brilliant from Grandi. See, I, I think it's it's not just this, it's like in any sport. I, I think that watching like amateurs and semi-pros and just like Sunday league and football, it's more entertaining. It certainly has the potential to be far more entertaining than watching like the pros and in this case the RLCS yeah. because it's it's a lot of the same plays, it's a lot of the same setups, it's the same players, the same teams. Yeah. It's, it's just far more variety yeah. when you get down to the, the sort of lower leagues like this. Or even in the, the rival so, series as well in Rocket League. It's, uh, it's just completely no holds barred. Everyone's going for it. Absolutely everyone's leaving nothing out. Like, they're not playing nervy, they're just out here to try and throw the kitchen sink at it. I'm all about that. Everybody wants a, a headset. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame them. Cracking bit of hardware. What can Zuko do here? I think that's a slight whiff, I think he's going to the top corner, but just puts it a bit wide. Grandi can send it again though, Old will get there. Oh, Forbesy puts it over his head. That's a great Forbesy. touch by Forbesy. Zuko's read it. Just not enough fight on that to get it over Zuko. Stood his ground well there. He's falling to Grandi. 
in the DeLorean. Not able to do anything with it. Just fakes all that. Just about manages to to quash the pressure there. And then Forbes he combines well to get that cleared. But it comes right back at them. What can Zufo do here? Probably right. score. Not this time. No, it's fake Solar man. I actually have it on him. He has a boost. He's just tucked it in the corner. Oh, wow. How many times have we seen Zufo and Grandi get away with it? With that? Yeah. It's as if they're playing with just slightly smaller goals than everyone else. Can we, get, can we get a check on that? <laughs> take, this to, take this to the SFA on Monday. Have a look at those mutators. This is some good sort of prolonged pressure though by Fake Solar and Forty. Keeping the ball on the right half of the field. Here's Zufo coming right back at them. He's made that difficult for himself because he's put it in a good position for Grandi to try and get something on it. Unfortunate. Forbes wasn't really on point. Duffs that touch. I think the pass was good. It was Forbes who was in a, just a wee bit too far forward, and the, car, the ball ends up hitting him on his side rather than getting a clean contact with it. Going to the final settings of this game. Grande and Zuko, three goals to the good. Big Sommer. Let's Big Sommer can do something yeah, here. So 1-0 to the Granny Shifters. So I'm just taking a look at the bracket. I think this. I don't think this is losers final. I think this is losers semis. Um, and I think the the winner of this then goes on to play Wee Jambles team for a spot to get back into the the grand finals to go up against the Pinchman. I think that's the stage that we're at. There, no, stage for that. Grandy's more, though. What's wrong with Grandy's more? Aye. Big fan. Massive fan. Uh, we have a menu bug, but I think. Spot on, Keelan. Right, cheers, Emma. So, yeah. These teams battling out for a, a place in the loser's final. So. Oh. Top, the top four has been decided. Grandi has just used his teammate to hit the ball. Whiffs. And then whiffed it. It's a thing of beauty. <laughs> oh. Could have went anywhere. Big Sommer tries to get around Zuko, Zuko, but car positioning on point. Grandi. Not able to get that one on target or with a follow up either. Oh, what a, what a save. save from Forbes! Wow. Tips that one onto the bar Don't and away it goes. Over here. Come on. Oh, well saved by Zufo. Who else I get into Zufo? He's in the right positions every single time. Oh, wow. And he's, he's tapped off well, finish. The man can do it all. He can save, he can disrupt yeah. the play, he can get kickoffs, and he can score absolute belters like that. Started that move for that goal from his own goal line. The guy can seemingly do no wrong. A dodgy bounce there, Grand doesn't quite get the connection he's after, I don't think. The that one in there, there. Time. They go for the demo on Zufo, but he reads it, dodges that one, and then still manages to, to quash the pressure there. 
Take it, Andy. Six just knocking that one upfield. That's too far out of Zufo. 3, 3, 3, Can he get there the second time? Oh, wow. He can't, but fake Sommer can. Gets the corner boost, the ball comes back into the centre. Grandy is going to be the first one there. there. And he saved save. that again! Wow. What a save! What a bit of defensive play from Sommer and uh, Forbes. Oh, brilliant. The door remains only slightly ajar from Zufo, for Zufo and Grandy. Floodgates have not opened and Sommer and Forbes are doing everything they can to keep that from happening for as long as they possibly can. That's a great like hit knocked down. Oh. Oh, in a brilliant defensive oh. position then fake Sommer answers with a good clearance his own. And again, still Grandy trying to put the pressure on him. The fake Sommer comes out on top nice there. Forbes is not in a position to knock that one in. That great piece of that great piece of play from Soma there. The ball gets cleared downfield. Grandy off the Ooh, wall. Flick. Just not enough fight on it to get it by Forbes. He's now retained possession of the ball. What can he do from the wall here? Tries to go for the far post, but nothing coming of it there. Fairly easy save for Zuko in the end. It's now his turn to come knock in. Wow. Forbes misses wow. it. Zufo's missed it. Comes back into the table though. Once again, the door remains closed. For Zufo and Grandi up full now, but no! Wow. This one's not down high and wide. Grandi takes out Forbes. Eight. That's some great defending for the... Oh, that's unfortunate. I just had to see it. Caster's touch. Absolutely. There's murder on the dance floor there. He's to leave. I believe it was fake Sommer all on his own. Wow. Blinken, you'll miss it. There's three goals Whoa. up now. That's a wee bit of a signal. The boys had held their own for so long and then within this space of 10 seconds you'll you ship two goals. But they dig deep now, a minute 20 to get themselves back into this tie. Fighting for their life in the tournament. It's really unfortunate this. I've got to say, the goals have been coming. They've had two, two or three brilliant saves that could have very easily went in, so it's no real surprise that they're three goals up. And as it stands, progressing on to the, the losers' finals against the against Wee Jambo's team. Grandy not able to get the clearance he wanted there, but Zufo's back. Grandy doesn't need him. But Zufo's committed anyway. Could have came back to bite him there. Sommer was in a bit of a better position to to follow up on that. Nice clearance there. What can Zufo do? Hope she clears it. Not a problem at all for Zufo. That'll fall. Oh, so unlucky. That's on target. And that's a nice oh. hit. Just off that, so. Good 50 50. Oh, his teammate shrugs him. I don't think it makes much of a difference at this stage. It would have been a, a goal to oh. soften the ball slightly, but there you go. 2-0 yeah. to the Granny Shifters. And they move on to the, the losers' final. To Alva Apex, that's unfortunate. So that's us saying goodbye and good night to Alva Apex. Fought well, made it to the top four. And now we've got Granny Shifters against We Jambo's team in the losers final for a shot to go against uh, the Pinchman in the grand finals. So that's it. We're definitely into the business end of the, the tournament now. Here we go.
GG, GG's. GG's all round. I'm a massive fan of the sportsmanship on show the night. Massive fan of it. So many saves. <laughs> this You're is, not this wrong. Is true. This is true. It was well fought. Well fought, my man. How often do we run these tunes? That is a question for the Brave Junior, Emma Gade. Imagine that if there's a if there's an audience wanting to play, the answer will always be not enough because the demand will always be there. I think your best bet though, uh, your best bet though, Cameron, is to make sure you're in the, the Brave Junior Discord. Keep an eye out on the announcements for any future tournaments that may come up. I'm not sure if someone in the chat would be oh. so kind as to leave mm -hmm. an invite like for Cameron and Jan, he's just wants to turn that one in. There you go Cameron, you've got your answer. It's so unfortunate for Jambo and Aaron. They've both went for it, they've gotten in each other's way. And ultimately Grande and Zufo reap the rewards of that. as well, there you go. The brave GG does it all. Good defending by Zufo. Oh, Jumbo! Oh no! That is so unfortunate by Jumbo. Is unlucky, but still plenty of time to get this one turned around. What a save! The immediate regain by Jumbo. Zufo's coming back at them though. Everybody misses that ball, and there comes Grandi to tidy it up. seems like it's supposed to be 2v2 here, it seems like it's more of an implosion from Lee Jambo and Aaron, it seems to be that they're the architects of their own downfall here, every goal so far just seems to be completely avoidable and it'll be a tough one to, to take if this is how the game ends because Lee Jambo and Aaron will know that it could have been and probably should have been a lot closer than this. Good save for Lee Jambo again. Ball comes back into him though, well away by Aaron this time. Bit of a whiff by Grandi, now the ball is in the orange half, bit of pressure. What can the boys do? He's having a way to be Jambo. Grandi's put it back into his own mixer though, well away by Zuko. And he's the first to it again. He has it under control, he has no boost. Well, oh, well played from Zuko. Wow. And then Grandi falls it up. Did you see him jump over? He heard yeah. the car coming in for the demo. We'll see it here. Slows it right down. Well done. Sends Jambo for a hot dog and Grandy's there to follow it up. That is phenomenal. Slicer asking for a split gate turn. I tell you what, 
That's a game that I've seen so much hype around in these last couple of weeks. I just haven't had the time to play it. Yeah, it's so it. fun though. Yeah, to touch it's it. So fun. What a finish. Oh, oh you what a finish. Oh. Now, am I, am I right in thinking that it was the pinchman against Grand Enzo for the very first game we watched? It might well have been, yeah. That's it. What did I say? Grand Enzo for to do it all the way through the loser's bracket to set up that rematch. I called it. I mean, we've got a long way to go. I called it. I can spot a good Rocket League player when I see them stick to it, can I say? Just knowing the mirror. That will. I said I can spot a good player. I would maybe sit in here, I'd be on RLCS if I was a good player. <laughs> I'd go to the top. Just done my knee in it, that's, that's all it is. So, uh, but but dodgy knee, so I could, can't, can't go all the way through. There you go, the Brave Junior coming in saying yes it was, it was Pinchman against Grande and Zufo, so as it currently stands, we've got a, a winner's round one rematch to settle it all. That's a brilliant save from Aaron. Not close enough to the goal to get the credit for it, but that's a brilliant save, that was on target. On Aaron now. What a shot. He's not flipped it in time and it just almost set it up for, for Grandy to knock that one in. Great save by Jambo, but Zufo's there. I mean, it's a tough one. He's got nowhere else he can make that save, bro. He's just got to get anything on it to try and stop the initial shot, but then Zufo follows it up well, like he has been doing all night. Can Aaron get a consolation goal back here from the kickoff? The answer is no. Zufo is just everywhere, isn't he? I reckon. Good flick. Even though, no, even though they've not oh, came up for it. That's so unfortunate for Aaron. They're, they've not done it through the winners bracket. They made it difficult for themselves to, to get to the grand finals if, if they do if they do take this next map. Yeah. But I, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. Full player of the tournament for me so far. Every single game we've seen him in, even the game that they ended up losing to ultimately against the Pinchman, I still think he played very well. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Demo from Grande, that was a whiff by Zufo, but I mean that could have well been 9-0, it should have been 9-0. Say 8 no. I don't think he'll call himself out for that too much. Aaron and Jambo are just chasing shadows here at this point. Zufo and Grande just able to do whatever they want. But I mean, saying this, Jambo and Arden are still two very good players. They wouldn't have made it this far in the tournament if they weren't, but maybe Zufo and Grandi just a bit too much, a bit too much for, for Aaron and Jambo. At least in this game, we've still got potentially two more games to go. And that's the thing, that's the thing that matters most. It was 8-0 in that game, but it's only 1-0 it's only, it's only at the end of the day. Absolutely. Doesn't matter how still. many. Yep. Doesn't matter how many goals you win by. Just about getting the dub, and that's all that matters. I mean, if we if we done it on aggregate, get this this game would be over already. Time for the hard regain for Aaron and we Jamo. Let's see what they can put up here. Someone is absolutely revving their car ready to go. Oh, I need to click <laughs> spectate. There we go. Big, big double challenge on the, on the kickoff, but now they're chasing the ball back towards their own net. Well defended by Aaron. What can he do though? He has no boost. 
so if we'll get it there. It's well attacked by Jambo. Good aerial by Aaron. This looks a lot better. This has been like the opening, the opening 30 seconds has been all pressure from Jambo and Aaron. Just puts that a bit high, Aaron. Zufo spawns up and gets away for their goal. Jambo's chasing the ball now. It's a bit all over the place. Someone wants to probably get this under control. Jambo might be the one to do it. Just loses it in the air there. Yeah. Ricky's on the right hand here. Wants to send back the way. Brilliant. That's a really good aggressive what defensive bit of play. Jambo! God! Brilliant goal from Jambo. Well done. Look at that. Wow. Takes it out of the path of Zufo. Reads the, reads the, the flight of the ball off the wall and gets the tap in like that. Beautiful. Well played, Jambo. Do they take Stay. the lead? It's the exact response you need after getting 100%. demolished 8 0 in the first game. Oh, and Zufo stalls against one, but not the other. They've left the goal wide open. Can someone get there? Jambo knocks it away. They come straight back at them. Off the inside of the post, Zufo is able to fall up. And Adam was just floating in the air. Just couldn't get his car back down. That goal's coming in with a goal on my sand, but. That's unfortunate. It was short lived. We're now tied up. One apiece. It seems a much, much better game from Adam and Jambo already. Yeah. So they, they, kick on. they now know they can score against them. They now know they can lead the game. So they just have to take that belief, carry it forward, play their own game. So if they're playing against a god, and now they, now they know that he can bleed. Good That's work it. from the boys. Oh, yeah. You can <gasps> see that. You can that see that being calculated. 100% it's calculated. Look, Aaron yeah. goes hunting for the demo. Absolutely. And it just leaves Jambo with a one on one against uh, against Zufo there and he flicks it over him brilliantly. That's for all the I reckon boys. with how, how narrow an angle oh. Jambo managed to get on that shot, I don't think the goalie would have saved it even if he oh. was there. And Aaron! <gasps> What's that save from Zufo? Who else would Zufo to save it, man? Now we have a demo, but Zufo whiffs. Jambo leaves that, I think he got the better of Grandi there. Aaron follows up, now the boys come into the orange half, but Zufo is there. <laughs> Jambo, a fan favourite in the chat, and it's clear to see why. When does Jambo play? Whenever he wants. Good touch, on, Jambo. good for the hat trick. For the hat trick. Great oh, save by Zufo. Oh, Jambo's in a good position to clear that. Randy beats him back to corner boost there. This could be crucial. Happens there. Right place, right time. I'm not sure why Aaron went for that and left it. He's putting his teammate in a That's bad position there. Yeah. Don't, don't rate that from Aaron at all. He goes to clear it here and fakes it. Granted, he gets, gets himself back in a good position to clear it away, but Chewie just got the touch off the wall there and, <laughs> and let, uh, let Jambo punt that one back downfield. Slice are already trying to claim Jambo's headphones <laughs> if he makes it to the, the finals or even wins. Cross goal by Grandi comes back in by Zufo. Aaron is here to clear it. Goes over the head of Grandi. Aaron slows it down. What about a fake? Tries to get him on. He's been beaten to the wrist. He's his teammate. Oh, that's unfortunate. Big chip by Grandi. Big save Good by save Jambo. From Jambo. Big aerial battle over there. The orange team comes out on top. The ball coming back into the centre, but Jambo gets it away. Pressure relieved for a couple of seconds, but Grandi sends it right back into the mixer. Tries to follow it up. Big tackle by Jumbo. A bit of after in the corner, we'll have to see that. 
two folk misses that one. Seems to be the first one I can remember of a ball he's missed tonight. As Jambo gets the demo wow. and Aaron makes him pay. That is very well played by the boys again. I'm loving this aggression that they've got. Just get someone on the ball, get towards the goal, the other man can just seek out the demo and the goalie. Two of the exact same goals have scored with the exact same play and it's worked out brilliantly for them. Jambo doesn't get much time to breathe at all on that ball there. Zuko's right down his neck. Jambo's mum is going after him. <laughs> well, Jambo's, Jambo's mum has a lot to shout about. He's playing very well in this game. <laughs> Just gets enough on that. Expecting Zuko to come from up high there. Tap that one in under the bar. It's over Jambo, it's not over Aaron though. Zuko tries to follow up. That's when they come back off the bar, they're looking to do it. Gets the demo. Grandi leads up and it's a little So unfortunate. Thing is, I don't even think Zuko means to get the demo. He's just, he's going supersonic when he comes down from the aerial there. Jambo's just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Otherwise, he's in a great position to save that, and it remains 3-2. 20 seconds to go. Well away for Jambo. Zufo trying to get on the control, though. Could it be two. our first overtime of the night in losers' finals? Two well-matched teams as well. Well, I'll tell you what, unless Aaron has something to say about it here, is it's oh. deep. Oh, oh it's off the bar. I was thinking if he had a little bit more boost. It's off wow. the bar. Big 50-50, no one really gets a better than that, but Grandi falls up the rapid, he's got an open goal, Jambo gets there, what a oh save. Zufo follows it back in, but Jambo's lining it up, he gets it away Jumbo's again. Jambo's there again! Zufo gets the demo and Jambo walking, what can Aaron do? The ball Jambo, Jambo there again! Jambo gets Jumbo's there again! That's four, that's four saves! Aaron gets it away, Jambo falls him in. And then gets the full boost. Go on, Adam. Come on, Adam. Come on, Adam. Needs to get his Whoa. car on the ground. He's in the back end and then needs to get his seal back in. Zufo's got a free hit at this. That's He's not in. That's not in. Still anyone's game here. Zufo knocks it away. Grandi. Did get that corner boost. Whatever. Grandi's knocked that in towards <gasps> Zufo. He's oh. there and he's missed it. Aaron, can Stop, he get the ball? Aaron. He slows it down. He's riding the ball. He's with it. It's all on Grandi now, Grandi against Jambo, Jambo with another big save. Coming right back down her throat through Zufo. That oh, is a heartbreaker. Oh, that's a sick now. Aaron was so close to getting the touch there to take it by the goalie. That is a genuine Grandi heartbreaker. Grandi gets first. Oh, ja Jambo doesn't deserve that. That is a massive, massive GG's to Jambo and Aaron. They, they oh. seriously dug deep there for that second map. Well played. That was a phenomenal game for the boys. Well played, you Jambo team. Seriously well played. That game definitely deserved a map three, but we've unfortunately not gotten it. But that was a great game for all four boys in that team. That's the best game of the night so far. Absolutely. Absolutely. Jambo was like prime Buffon. And goes there. <laughs> Unreal, like man. There was that point where he had it four saves back to back to back to back. Brilliant. It was just that equaliser from a uh, from Grande and Zufo came because I feel like Jambo was unfairly demoed when uh, I think it was Zufo comes out of the aerial and he's supersonic. Jambo's in the, the wrong place at the wrong time. Otherwise, it's another safety add piece collection for that game. I think they see it out 3 2. Absolutely. But it's with that that we say farewell to Jambo's team. That sets us up for our grand final, which will be the Pinchman against Grand Dane Zufo. So proud, Mum is. Should be. Jambo played brilliantly. I said Zufo was player of the tournament. Jambo's put himself up there for contention in my books off of that performance alone.
Here we go. Here we go. We've seen these teams way back at the start of the night, two hours ago. What can we do now? Will it be the Pinchman taking it 2 0 and being crowned your winners of the the Brave Junior Rocket League Cup sponsored by HyperX or yeah. the Grand Dame Zufo get redemption? <laughs> And the Brave has just made a very, very, very valid point there in the chat. The wee guys that you've seen popping up down bottom right of this, inviting us, getting me when I need to be. Big shout out to Slicer and Gaz. They've been like clockwork behind the scenes, getting everyone in the lobbies they need to be in. They've made our job infinitely easier. Some guys. Some it's kids. Been it's been flawless. Absolutely flawless. We just need to sit here, speak absolute dribble. <laughs> and you've got Ga Gaz and Slicer in the background doing all the hard work exactly. of chasing people up, getting the lobbies set up, getting the mutators right. Oh, and their Slicer's PC died in that, right? Ah. Shambles, shambles. <laughs> We'd have been better doing it ourselves. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Here we go. This one here's for all the marbles. Started with, started with eight teams. Now down to two. Four of the best Rocket League players that we have to offer tonight. And I'm certain we're in for an, an absolute belter of yeah, Grand Finals. Some serious love for James here. Mona Thistle. <laughs> Want a pinch man? Any love for Grande and Zufo in here, or is it all? Is this a Pinchman <laughs> Loyals chat in here? Come on, the truth. <laughs> Get into them. <laughs> love this. Noose just turns up for the turns up for the big games. Into this mob today. Hey, what news? I'm a big fan of this. This is fighting talk. <laughs> We're going into a battle here. I like this. A bit of fashion. That's a fitting song as well, isn't it? Get their hype going. Hey, go, there's Jambo coming in. Cheering on Grande and Zufo. As, to be fair, I'd be the exact same. See, see whoever puts me out. As long as they go on to win it, I don't feel as bad because then <laughs> I've been beaten by the best. So I can see where you're coming from there, Jambo. I'm the exact same. Mate. What a fitting tune. Here we go. I don't think there's anything wrong with. Uh, Slicer's PC, I think he just wants to, to let the suspense build up a bit. He's just, he's just sitting there. We're like puppets, he's got us all on strings. Wrapped around his pinky. The man runs the show. That's exactly it, Jambo. Fan favourite, mate. You, you and Zufo up there for player of the tournament for me so far. So just, just a recap here. If the Pinchmen win this first series, that's it. Game over. We all get to go and enjoy the rest of our Friday nights with whatever we may be up to. If the Granny Shifters win this first best of three, it's all, it's all set up for another best of three for a bracket reset. All about giving the, the winners, the team that comes in from the winners' side of the bracket, the advantage. But for the storylines, I want Grand Dame Zuko to at least push us to a second best of three. Let's go. There we go, he's, he's leading off. What a save by James. That was some brilliant play from pressure. Cameron, and James is there. That's brilliant from Cameron to get the ball back under control. 
in the corner there. Season 2 Grand Champion, I can see why. Lovely play from James and Cameron. There's Noose. Solid <laughs> net goal. Go Love it. <laughs> goal. I'm going to see how long I can hold a, a South American commentator goal for the next one that goes in. You will be muted. Start a timer. <laughs> Controlled by Cameron, but Cameron takes it off him. That's my strike <laughs> Abby Martin and Noose. Loving the pinchman early goal here. Well pulled by Grandy there, but just comes back in. So Cole manages to clear again. Don't know how many times I've said that tonight. Wow. Can wow. he get there again? Wow. Goal! Some goal from James though. That is phenomenal. It's the car control that they've got. Yeah. Like, James is facing the wrong way when he initially makes the block there. He gets himself turned himself. round. Yep. And thinks the goal is brilliant. The greatest of all time. <laughs> Okay. Low key James the Goat. I'm not saying low key, everyone knows high key James oh. the Goat. It's well Look defended by James. They're going to bed with James <laughs> beside them. Bit of, a, bit of a strange. You should be for the fans. Never heard that one. Suspect from you, from you, Noose, but <laughs> we carry on. Big demo there by Grandy. James is right and we put the pressure back on, no, he's following that in, gets a shot on goal but it's blocked. Couldn't waste James's boots grandy in the mud. <laughs> Good thing we have wheels then. <laughs> James not able to get it over the defender there. That's but he's there for the block. Zuko keeps the pressure on him. James just trying to get under control on the wall, but Grandy gets it. Cameron gives it up, but James follows it in. Knocks it to Zufo though. This comes back to Zufo. He's put it on target. James is there though. Grandy follows it up. Big demo by Cameron. Big demo from Cameron there. Zufo puts it into an area, but no one's there. Well, Cameron has run that round him, but Zufo is tracking back. No James corner thinks about boots at the middle, fakes it, does it now. Any height on this at all? That's wow. going to be tapped in, but Zufo manages to get back. I'm not sure where he got the boost from. Corner boost hasn't spawned up when the, the ball was played in the middle, but oh. manages to make the most of it. Nearly follows it up with a goal of his own. A good shot of goal, both of them, both of them work for it. A bit of a, a miscommunication there, it's just lucky that neither Zufo or Grandi was in the position oh, to trade that one out. so unfortunate by Grandi, and now he has oh, no boost to chase this home. Zufo has it all to do, and he does James it all. Just misdirects his car there as he comes down. If he hits that straight on, I don't think oh, Grandi or Zufo have enough boost to get back well to it. Grandi's went for the demo there and missed it. Zufo, Zufo we have second time around, make sure. I was going to say... Goes for the chip, that one came back to bite them there. Zufo tries to get that one at the back post, it's just not quite the angle. What Second time goal. he asking though. Yeah, he is. Great goal from that. Zufo. Yeah, just put that a little bit too much pressure on them. Before she's an error and James actually touches it in at his own net. Finish up there. Zufo trying to get Now, bring it back within one. Big demo, pressure is now on. Cameron plays about right at the back there, manages to just about get over Zufo. Mm -hmm. I think Grandy's helped him out there. I see put it in the middle, but big, big defending by Grandy. Comes to James though, puts it on target. Both of them go up for it, that could, they, they could be made to regret that. James gets it under control, but Grandy. Oh, I thought that was on target there, with the camera swung around. Put your VAR, he's my old dog. <laughs> no, so I've, been asked, I've had a couple of VR, VAR checks myself tonight. So far, they've all been proven wrong. I think yours will be the same. The goal will stand, it remains 2 1. 
in favour of the Pinchman. Cameron goes up high, Grandy goes to meet him but doesn't manage to make the contact with the ball. Oh, Cameron gets Zufo it by Zufo, Zufo's not typical again. Oh, sing to the ball, that's unfortunate. Who was it they wanted Cameron to start to on his way? Noose, there you are. Just finds it. It turns towards that and I think it must be as his camera comes round, he lets go, he's steering for like a split second. I think if he commits to that turn, he actually knocks it wide. That yeah, is a gutter. He had all the boost in the world to make it. It's a good shot and though. Parton wasn't quite there. Another good shot of goal. You can say that all you want, but I think it's far <laughs> from it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. Map 1 goes to the Pinchman. So that puts away, the Pinchman at tournament, show, tournament point. Tournament point for the Pinchman. From Largs down to Garvin. <laughs> <laughs> Put an airshot on the map. Making Abby and Noose very, very happy. So as you said, just exact that puts Pinchman championship point. Here we go, two in a row. <laughs> <laughs> it's too soon. Too soon with that power. Aye, that still hurts. That still stings. <laughs> Noose is feeling it. Noose has those Friday night vibes. I'm loving it. Noose, where were you for the beginning, mate? Nah, uh, I would almost even suspect you maybe can. <laughs> Zufo. Just oh. about manages to squeeze that yeah. one through. I think we need an early goal from Zufo and Grandi. As I say that... A save from what Cameron! A save, by the way. Benson, wrap it. <laughs> True. <laughs> I mean, I'm go, to, go to respect it. Go to respect you back in your This season, place. there's probably not much in it, but we'll move on. We'll get back on, on track with the Rocket League. That's in the mix, huh? Mm. Andy doesn't manage to get the angle on that. Yeah, I think, I think he almost expects Cameron to hit that, so he, he comes at the wrong James round. goes for the flip. Oh, and Grandy's, Grandy's just not back. done enough. Oh. It's well played from James, just stalls it so Zuko, not really sure what he's up to here, and James puts himself in a great position. That is massively Aye. unfortunate for Grandi and Zuko. Super tracky, you are spot on. 100%. Get some love hearts 100%. in the chat everyone, love, heart, love hearts in the chat for the Brave GG. This has been an absolutely flawlessly run yeah. tournament. Absolute superwoman. Stukzy and I came into this thinking that, oh, alright, we, we run these all the time. Said yes, not a problem, we'd help out. And the way it's been run, you'd think they've been doing this for ages. Not a single hiccup. So, very well done. What can Zippo do here? Gets the touch on it, but it's going to go high. Has no boost to follow up. Grandy falls it in. What a goal. What a goal square. There you go, big all for the love hearts. Off that. <laughs> Boots <laughs> for Benson. <laughs> no, it's only 1-1, no. one, one, Benson, relax. Yeah. No, no. Plenty of Rocket League left to play. Although I imagine so Benson's thinking two, two words, not good enough. <laughs> Grandy tries to get that under control, just loses it. He's off the ceiling. Okay, well, Cameron and James could have been in a good position there. Try and knock that one over Zuko. Just like that one down touch. really well. Great first touch. 5-1. Well, well, by Zufo. Well played from Zufo to get up on the wall yeah. there. Just not allowing him to have the time to get that under control and bringing it down, just making sure it gets out of the way. 
knocks that one down to the face of goal. But James manages to get a very, very strong clearance on that one. <laughs> Benson, you are at it, son. <laughs> you need to relax. Yeah. Oh, that's heading on target. Okay. Hey, I know that the game, the game that we're watching looks similar to football, but let's just remember that <laughs> <laughs> we're not watching, we're not watching the old form here. But it's no Troon versus what Celtic. What a shot! What a save! Wow! It's the granny shot against the punchline. Straight away as well. Look at this by Zufo. James just has to boost to beat him back. The only game in Scotland that matters tonight. Stops it dead, but James follows it up. But Grandy's back again. Needs boost though. Needs boost. He's going to wait for this to spawn in. But how long does he wait for it? Yeah, yeah. I was Cameron, going to say, how, how long do you commit to that? Grandi oh, manages to nip it over the top there. Cameron in a good position to clear that one. Expected. James. I bet you didn't clear that there. The ball's now is with hope. Gets it over Cameron. James manages to get the, get the clearance. Just about. Can he do it the second time? He's asking. No, Zufo continue to put on the pressure. Cameron finally manages to get the ball at least out of the final third. It's followed oh, up. It's close. Well defended by Zufo. Not close enough. James hangs it up for Cameron, but Cameron's nowhere near that. We've got to get the demo on Zufo. Cameron's got to make the save. He does. Oh. He doesn't follow it up. This is a tap-in now. Goal. It's a tap-in. What a scene of events that was. How many heartbreakers have we seen tonight? And I think that might be the first one that's gone against Grand Angels. Yeah, I think you're right. On the seasiders. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliantly played from James and Cameron. <laughs> Can you hear the boys sing? Well, that's on target. Ooh. What a goal! What a goal! Is that... Is that a Zufo whiff from Cam, again. or is that just two postage stamp? Unbelievable. Oh, nah, that Cam, it just doesn't get there. What a goal, though. Tell you what, that's... It was good contact, but that's a save that you should be expecting Cameron to make. So I'll say that. And he's not going to get the boost to get back to this. Wow, and just like that... <laughs> Grandi and Zufo just seem to be the team that can just turn a game on its head like with a switch. Yep. Oh. From 2 1 down to 3 2 up, just like that. Big flip by Cameron. Zufo's there. What a save. What good dribble in here. Good dribble. One. Gonna get it by the second man. Just can. can't get away to the pressure. Cameron, no that's on target. No we save from Zuko. They just need to survive these 10 seconds. <gasps> what a save! What a save! Just get out of there, route one. Go on, Cameron! Oh. What can they do? Can they keep it in the sky? Oh, that's going to be it. Drops. Here we go. And we're going to a third mark. So, crucially, still, still tournament point for the pinchman, but they've been nipped to a clean 2-0 victory by the granny shifters in that game there. Big Wolves is spot on in the chat, yeah. but a wee bit carried away there. Just a wee, a wee deep breath for everyone in the chat. Aye. Regain, we go again. Do we get yourself a wee, a wee chat to you in, in the mirror? Damn yourselves down, back you scum. Spot on, Abby. It's not lucky, but it's a GG's. They're still, still the favourites to win this. Here we go. Will the granny shifters send us to a bracket reset for another best of three? Or will the pinchman close it out here in a 2-1 fashion and be, de be declared your brave junior Rocket League champions? That's a good shot on goal. What I say by Grandi though, can he follow up? Demo and Zufo, but Zufo just done enough initially to get that ball away. 
Grandy stops it. He's just doing what he can to keep the pressure on there. He's managed to do it twice, so well played from Grandy. He's actually done very well there. James just gets it under control, puts the pressure back on. And gets, and gets full boost. Cameron follows it up. Oh, Todd target, but Grandy with an easy save there. I think Cameron's went for the demo, but Grandy's just a bit too far away from him. Should be an easy presence from James here, and it is. Good touch by Zufo, but now the ball is coming back into their half. Dealt with by Grandy. Three falls out of the sky, picks up the full boost. The camera's already bringing it back towards him. One thing that has absolutely amazed me all night is the ability of these players to just like kill the ball dead with a touch. But when it comes down, they stop the ball dead so often. The, the car control that especially these final four players have got is just unreal. But it's it's so humbling to watch <laughs> players yeah. like this because because you think you're I mean, I, I think I'm already in Rocket League, not anymore because I've played it in Egypt, but at the point I thought it was alright. And you see plays like this and you're just thinking, I can't even get anywhere near them. That was a wee bit of a miss it from Gandhi, it was just allowed James enough time to at least get a shot on goal. He started it right, right at Zuffo though. Zuffo gets the pressure on though. Taken out by Cameron, Grande can't really do anything but just try and get the ball out from the corner as he waits for Zufo to reset. Good shot. Got, got a lovely bit of passing play there. Tell you what, that's not far away at all. Cameron Ooh, from a party. Grande, what a save. Tips it onto the bar. Again there, the, the close control by James, he brings that down. Like, not close over Cameron, surely. Oh, 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 oh. Will that come back to bite them is the question. You would have thought that was a sitter, especially when they've been playing all night. Will really that come back not. to bite them? Big save by Grandy again, but the ball kind of dropped, but Zufo deals with it. Cameron could have been a wee bit more aggressive there. He had 40 boost, plenty to get up in the air there ahead of Zufo. It's well played from Grandy. James should be able to make an easy save here and grab corner boost for himself. He does just that. To dribble, quite, but it's red. Not quite enough to get it by the man there. Cameron goes for the boost, but misses it. James is there. Grandi falls it back. Save up. him though. I don't what think anyone's saving that. Going. Yeah, that, that, I think you're right. That's absolutely textbook. Falls it up, falls it in. Even if no. they get a touch on that, it has to be sideways. It, it, you it's, can't defend it's the way Grandy's on. positioned his car as it comes up off the wall. There. Like, he's above the ball, completely flat to it. Even if uh, James or Cameron managed to get a save there, it's, it's, just, gonna game, it? it's just gonna yeah. hit back off Grandy and go back in. Do you fall falls out? <gasps> James is taking it away from him. What's he doing? Oh, the head's gone. Wow. Cam Cameron had that save easy. Yeah, wait, James, wait. Fought, oh, wow. James takes it away from him. Nice communication there for the boys. Oh, come on, man. Are we getting a bracket reset? I hope so, but you can't be making those sort of mistakes when you're at tournament point. Now, we said they had that shot that came off the post, and we're, we're thinking, will that come back to bite them? If it ends like this, it may well do. Heart rates must be through the roof. Grandy playing for the demo, just... What a save from Cameron. We've not been able to see it on the spectator, but we see it in the, in the score feed. Grandy up high, he's going to get a third one, he yeah. can. 55 seconds to go. I think we're getting a second reset here, mate. I think we are indeed. This is some absolutely phenomenal rocket league we're getting treated to here. Especially this game here. Although wow, oh, that those series of saves that we seen from from Wee Jambo in the in the loser finals up there as well. Yeah, absolutely. That loser absolutely. finals was a great series too. 
It's almost really well played. That's what can Cameron do here? Puts it back in. Great touch by Zufo. Cameron stops the ball in the middle of the park. That should be a tap in for Zufo. Ah, it's not as far forward as I maybe thought he was, but still three goals to the good. He won't tip himself too much for that one. Sunday's 50 50. Stops the pressure. Yeah. Zufo from off the wall, can he make it four? Grandy not in a position to fall that one up, just wants to play it safe. And there we have it. Yeah, we are going to a bracket reset of this. This is rocket league. <laughs> of this, man. So it is now completely and utterly winner takes all. With absolute shambles. We have reset the bracket. And now whoever wins the next whoever wins two matches here takes a lot. They get the headsets. I mean everyone here's getting headsets, but you know what I mean. Here we it's go. All about, it's all about the pride coming first though. Absolutely. That bit heart rates will be going mental here. Hundred percent. Try to hold on to the controller like it's a, <laughs> a body soap. <laughs> so here, sweat, we'll sweat running off you, go. like you didn't even know you could sweat before. But here we go for all the marbles, for, for all the headsets. Your final best of three. Tournament can go no further than this. Decided here and it's decided now. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Powerful clearance from Cameron there, but it's fallen to Grande. James hasn't saved it, just about manages to get it cleared. Zufo with a follow up. But James does well again to get it cleared. And it's coming back down with Cameron, cleared by Grande. James has the ball. Not sure what his boost situation's like though, he's just grabbed himself full. Just lost that one in there. It's happened a few times. Going for the flashy plays, but we should probably just try and keep it nice and simple. <laughs> in for four out for six. It's like an eight bit of advice holds. And Grandy's completely whiffed that one. Cameron isn't in a position to get that one in. James he is this time though. Well played from James. <laughs> well played, James. Capitalising on the mistake makes no no qualms about that one. Makes up for the the whiff in the, the last 50, game there. James gets to it, touch inside, but Grandy's read it. Oh, both of them missed. Thought that was a wee bit of the depth. Uh, I, I think he gets there. There has got to be millimetres in that. Millimetres in that. Nah, no way, man. I reckon that. I reckon James saves that. <laughs> it's a rig. Slicer's rigged it. Oh, Grant, Grandy's through. What can he do? Cameron just basically drives in here and puts him off. Does everything to kind of mess with him. It pays off. All back in the blue half. James has it under control. Dummies Number one. Can he get it by the oh, second? Well red he's by there for the ball up. No, he's not. Where's Cameron? Great flick by Zuko. I sure, surely thought he'd have been there for the follow up. Sorry from James. Zuko in a position just to keep that pressure on, just like he has been all night. Grandy! Oh. Can't squeeze it by the goalie. What shot? Zuko! What a save from James! Cameron on the ball, knocks that one at James, I don't think he's got the boost to go for that one. Look at the close control oh, from James. Brilliant James. Just sends, sends Grandi the wrong way, the wrong way here I think. Knocks it by him for a nice easy tap in, 2-1. The pinchment back in the lead. Up 
Alright, Grandy doesn't have the boost. James just loses control of that one there. Well away by Grandy. Zufo takes it down the wing. Takes it in the air, tries to aerial, tries to put it beyond James, he's done so. And he gets it caught up again. So close. He's brilliantly played, set himself up for the double touch really nicely. Fraction off with the angle there. Cameron's there for a tap in. Safe from the coast. Again, it sounds like a broken record mentioning good saves in Zufo in the same sentence. It's under control, he's running at the goal, he puts it on target, well saved by Camden. Zufo just waiting Cameron for a move to be made, high. he reads it, gets it first save, gets a second save! First save from Zufo! I thought James, James thought he'd read that perfectly there, waits for the, the save from Zufo and Cameron and he's there for the follow-up. Great Zufo control says, no. there by, by James. Sets it up, Grandy's there, but he doesn't quite get as good a touch on it. Jamie tries to follow this, this. Oh, Wow. And he does. Zufo can't really do much more than that there. Comes across, manages to clear it off line away from Cameron, but James has the boost to meet that in there well before Grandy has the chance to. Great goal. Great goal from the pinchman. Ballon d'Or winner. <laughs> I reckon the pinchman coming in here with a point to prove. Bracket reset has been complete by the Granny Shifters. The pinchman says, we're the team that came in for the winner's bracket. We're the number one seed. We'll win this. And they're on our way to tournament right point yet again. Cameron falls up, just doesn't get Cameron. it up. Close control James by James Grandi. there. Back by one. Can I get it by Zufo as well? Can't. Zufo's positioning just far too good there. It's all on James. It's over Grandi pretty easily. Him against Zufo. Team it's there for the follow up, but Zufo clears that wide away from the danger. Brilliant save as Grandy goes up near to meet it. Doesn't really get a good contact on it. James knocks it into the blue half. Grandy tries to get it on the throw, but he might have actually laid it off. He gets it away, but not before James gets the demo. Cammy comes up Cameron the and gets on the, the wall. Looks like this game will be going to James and Cammy. Now, where have we heard this before? Tournament point to the pinchment. This happened in the last best of three, yep. And they were reverse swept, so... You know for a fact that Zufo and Grandi will not be counting themselves out yet. Absolutely not. You've got to ask yourself though, if James and Cameron lose this map, do the serious jitters set in? I think the heads go if they lose this one as, as well. Slicer wants in on the action. <laughs> Slicer fancies yourself for a game, but out it comes. So James wins, wins the opening break. What can Gandhi do? He's bowled under the pressure and Cammy follows up. Now, what was the first thing you said in that? James wins the opening break. Yep. That sets him up so well. Again, man. James is just so good in these kickoff situations. I say that. He's just set up Zufo for that one there, but it comes to nothing. Oh, Cameron put gets over, over Grande. Oh, well away. It's a nice death touch there to bring that away. I think that one's just a bit too high. James, more of a camera save. Nice, nice easy one, but expected. Good touch by Grandi. Cameron. Good touch by Cameron also, though, just keep this away. 
James just doesn't Grand. generate the power he needs. Grandy's with that. Yeah, Grandy actually puts that back into the danger area more than anything. But well cleared by Zuko. Big demo by Grandy on Kami. That's a lovely save from James to take that out of the party, Grandy. Grandy thought he had a tap in there. Yeah. Grandy should have this under control. Big tackle by Cameron. Cameron comes flying out the gates there. Oh, Brilliant save from James. Grandy not in a position to follow that one up. Does get it by one though. No. Gets it off the wall, he's not got much boost to work with here. James knows how to deal with those though. Grandy follows this one up. This is just waves after wave of Grand Shifter's pressure. The pinchman managed to weather it. That was just going out. Gets it over James one. Can't get it by James though. It's Grandy's turn. James knocks it away. Still with Grandy. Oh, I think Grandy's got to sell a bit of loss there. I think so. It looks like James just took that one away from Cameron. They'll see if that ends up being the right call. Doesn't look like it as he misses out on corner boost. Allows just all, all the time in the world to take that one down off the wall. Still with Grandy. James positions his car well there. Just doesn't get the, the contact he wanted with the ball off the wall there to set himself up for the double touch. It's well played from Cameron with an interception in there there. It's well centred. Can anyone get on the end yet? James just knocks away. That's actually knocks into the path of Cameron, so the counter attack is immediately on. Oh, Grandy goes for the demo on James. That's actually probably the, the right shout, but the ball's still in their half. Grandy gets a hold of it, not before he's hit by Cameron. Knocks it down, James gets a touch on it, but Grandy still has the ball, tries to put it in the middle. Will it fall? Oh, away there's Zufo! James touches it by him. Grandy gets I'm a sure Zufo expected Grandy yeah. to keep hold of the ball and manage to put it across for him there. Get back with James and Cameron. Let's see what they can do. James takes it away out the path of Cameron there. Cameron was on for a serious rocket here. Shot there. Cameron almost put James under pressure there, but James ball control with that car, second to none. Zufo emerges for his own net to get that under control. Puts it down the throat, that may drop. What a save by James. Who's his teammate out there as he misses the ball in front? Grande doesn't follow up. Zufo's turn. James says not yet. Right now, start to yeah, relax. relax. Nice. It's, a game, it's a game of Rocket League. Not everything needs to be made about the old fun. James, brilliant. Grandy just finish. trapped at the back of his own net there. Now, a minute five on the clock, two goals down. Certainly good. It's doable, but it is now literally do or die for Zufo and Grandy. Here we go. Let's go, go Pinchman. We threw a tournament point before Abby. Will, it, will they do it again or will they see this one through? I think we'll see this one through, but 50 seconds in a game of Rocket League to score two goals. We've seen far stranger things in a lot less period of time. No boost for Zufo though. Grandy puts James, a shot on target with James as well. I think James and Cameron will just look to get as many touches as they can on the ball just to slow down yeah. anything Zufo and Grandy try to get going here. Just make this a bit more chaotic again. Yeah, just draw draw the clock down. It's a big save they've got to make here though. That's massive from Cami. Well played. But yeah, can't, get, can't get the second in. touch there. Zufo finds himself on the air. I don't know if there's any boost to do anything about that. Grandy goes up for it. And Every second it ticks down. Five seconds away from being crowned. That'll be it. That's it. There you go. The pinchman are your the Brave Junior Rocket League champions. Took, by Hyperx. Took a bracket bracket reset to get there, but the second time they make sure they get it done. That's a GG's in the chat. Yeah, absolutely everyone played. League.
That was phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Shout out Gaz, shout out Slicer, shout out Emma Gade, shout out the big wall, shout out everybody involved in this tournament. It was flawlessly mm. run. Stugsy and I were just here to be the, the guys sitting at sitting at the front, talking dribble about the games that you are watching. Absolutely. Would have got no nowhere fast without everybody in the background making this thing possible. So, I think that's game set match. Got your winners crowned. Commiserations to everybody that that fell out at whatever point in the tournament you made it to. Thanks very much to everybody that played. If you made it all the way to the final, like the Pinchman and the Granny Shifters, or if you got double rounded. Massive shout out to absolutely everybody in the chat as well. Some great support tonight. Yeah, yeah. Good night to you too, Super Tracky. It's been, it's been an absolute cracking night. And yeah, just to echo everything that Kios just said, shout out to absolutely everyone involved. Players, spectators, guys and slicer in the background for all the hard work they've done. And massive shout out to Emma Gray, the Brave Junior. Absolute superwoman putting this together. GG's everyone, and final shout out I guess is massive GG's to your champions. The Pinchman. The Pinchman. But with that, we're going to end the stream there. Uh, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you very much to everyone. Peace out. See you later. Love you all.